Yo, 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 yo. Hold on, let me go ahead and play some music for y'all. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go. Uh, you already know it's Prince Charming up in this bit. What about, <laughs> welcome back guys. Um, we're gonna be reacting to some Darman videos. This should be a very interesting stream. I haven't done one in about like, what, two or three months? It has been a while, so I hope you all are prepared. You have your popcorn ready. You know, you're all comfortable and whatnot. Let me go ahead and reply to my baby girl real quick. I probably won't be able to make it tonight because I'm a finished work late, then hit the gym early before our day. Ooh, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. All right, let's get it. <laughs> This first video is called Innocent Girl Becomes Drug Dealer. What happens is shocking. All right, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You already know what to do. Let's get it. Tiff, I know you said you're in a hurry, but why did we have to come down here? Sorry, Lex. My mom sounded really stressed for me to get home. So All right, O-Block. They're on O-Block. <laughs> oh, she's selling Lucy's? <laughs> what do y'all call drugs in your town? Lucy's a cigarette. I'm tripping. Stop. You gonna actually stop? What kind of authority Dad? she has? Yo, don't say my name. Oh, they no. know her. Sorry, we don't mean to be nosy, but did you just sell that guy? Quiet. Yeah, you're talking way too loud, girl. What is with you two? Right? You are Honestly. So it's like you're trying to get me in trouble. Thank you. It's like you the I feds. I don't understand. <laughs> she the feds. Isn't your dad a cop? Yeah. And? Where else do you think I get this stuff? Look. Oh, she got it from the evidence locker. Steal this from his evidence locker. Ugh, she got the good Why stuff. Why would you do that? Why would I do that? For the um, dinero, come on. Can you tell me any other job that I can make this much cash? Only fans? You made all that today? More like in the last hour. Oh! So you know, put a down payment on a car. Hold on, she, she had like Ben Frank, Fra Franklin Benjamins. She had like 10 bennies on her. Not 10, like five. One, two, three. Cash. About four bennies. I counted four bennies, guys. That's $400 in an hour. Who else is getting paid $400 in one hour? Please tell me. Because a doctor is not making $400 in an hour. I'll tell you that much. They are not making $400 an hour. No doctor. Well, some doctors are. But you know what I'm trying to say. Ugh, four bennies? Four Chris Blue Bennies? Okay, okay. More like in the last hour. Soon I'll be able to put a down payment on a car. What kind of car are you trying to get though? Why? She, she's trying to get a charger. Are you guys trying to get in on this? Do you want a Hellcat? Nope. No, we're actually good. Yeah, um, Tiffany's parents are waiting for her. I'll tell you this much. Why the hell would I, if, <laughs> if I was a drug purchaser, you know, if I was a drug user, please explain to me why on God's green earth, would I ever purchase my drugs from a girl who looks like this? From a girl who looks like she should be in her sorority meeting, not on the block selling me drugs. This is the last person I'll buy something from. I'll tell you that much. Come on now, like, I need my drug dealers to look a little shady, bro. <laughs> like, if you don't look a little bit shady, I don't trust you. Isn't that like a paradox or isn't that like the opposite? Or um, ironic, what's the word I'm looking for? Y'all know what I'm looking for. CJ Walker, thank you so much for that donut. Hello, Prince Charming, first live stream I see live. Well, welcome. Tyler Hackner, thank you so much for being a member for four months. Love you, man, always bring hilarious content. Thank you, bro. Meg Gamer, thank you for that donut. You're finally live with a Darman reaction. Yup, it's been a while, it has been a while. And Sammy, thank you so much for that big donut. He said, hey, Prince, you have been my favorite YouTuber for a long time. Every day I watch your videos. Keep up the good work and have a good day. You as well, Sammy, you as well. Let's get back into Innocent Girl Becomes Drug Dealer. For us, so we gotta go, but uh, see you at school Monday, okay? Bye. Remember. Don't you don't remember? Tell anyone. Or do mm -hmm. you remember what it was like? <laughs> Yeah, don't go snitching, little girl. Uh, is everything okay? Hi, sweetheart. What's going on? <laughs> Why don't you come Your dad has cancer. It, okay? Your dad's Walter White. He needs you to sell meth. You guys are worrying me. What's going on? Listen, first of all, I just want you to know. I love you very much. 
love you so much. What did I tell you? He's dying. I don't like where this is going. He's dying. Sorry. What's Sorry, honey. Your father's dying. Does it have to do with dad's job? No. You're, you're no longer going to have a father. Well, maybe it's, a little. It's time today, black man. This wouldn't be such an issue if the factory hadn't closed. Honey, the factory is what caused everything in the first place. Caused what in the first place? He has well, cancer. Please tell me what's going on. Or he maybe he got that dog in him. He got that dog in him. Ooh, no, he don't got no dog in him. Sweetie, your father, he, he has lung cancer. Ooh, he's just like Walter White, guys. I know. Apparently, it's from the factory that he used to work at. Can't something you sue that? Asbestos or something. I'm telling you this right now. If I get cancer working at a, a factory where my boss probably only gave me a 30 minute break if I worked eight hours a day, where I probably didn't like half my employees, where I probably made, you know, coins, pennies, change, loose, loose pocket change compared to my bosses. And to top it all that, to, to top it all off, they give me cancer as well. Either somebody is going through financial ruin or somebody is dying. I will not go to my grave until one of those two occur. I have to get my revenge. I'm sorry, guys. Which is why they shut it down. Gosh, did they at least catch it early? Don't worry, I'm gonna watch they Murder don't. Drones. I know it came out. But they're saying that if they don't remove the cancer soon with surgery, then it might be too late. Okay. It's too late to so apologize. So still a chance to beat this. The problem is, he can't afford the surgery since he doesn't have health insurance anymore. That's the same boat I'm in right now. He can take out a loan. I don't have insurance, so I can't get. He's worried about leaving us. <laughs> I can't get injured, guys. Debt, just in case. I'm like that guy with glass bones from SpongeBob. I can't. <laughs> he doesn't make it. I can't lose my dad, Alexis. Oh, this is why she's gonna start selling drugs? I don't lose my dad. This is literally Breaking Bad, but I'm so sorry. instead it's the daughter Breaking Bad. I, I can't give up hope, okay? Oh, bit. <laughs> what can I do? Unless you have $20,000 just lying around somewhere to pay for the treatment? Nothing. You don't got- parents are short. You don't gotta attack your friend like that. $20,000? 20 bands. $20. But- I'm sure I can ask my parents. They my might. dad already told me not to tell anyone about this. Your parents are not gonna His give your friend. Does not accept help yeah, twenty thousand dollars. Hell no. Okay, then. You know what the craziest thing apart uh, about this is? Like, her father has lung cancer. Whenever I hear lung cancer, lung cancer is one of the cancers that you blame the person. You know, we don't like to admit it. Maybe not everybody, everyone does it, but when you hear lung cancer, you automatically think, oh, well, you were smoking cigarettes, right? Or you were vaping, right? Or you were doing dip, what, whatever the hell gives you lung cancer. Like, that's one of the few cancers where you don't get as much sympathy because people assume you did it to yourself. But her father never once smoked a Lucy. Never, never smoked one Lucy, bro. And he has lung cancer. Either, <laughs> man, th when moments like that happen, like, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge believer, but when stuff like that happens, I can understand how people have a, a, don't we earn it? a crisis of faith. What do you mean? Remember when we needed money for cheerleading camp our sophomore year? Um, we did do? that fake sale. Oh, okay. Raising several thousand dollars is a lot different than that. I know, but it doesn't mean we can't make more. You want to sell like cookies Chris, and make 20000 Or cut grass or... Oh, wait. He's trying to steal all the Mexicans' Why jobs. Do a car wash. Get your car wash here. You can at least do it in a bikini. Wait, hold on. How old are these girls? Hey, let girl. me let me not crack Where jokes like going? this. <laughs> everything okay? No. What? Is everything's he, not okay. Is he here to hate on y'all car wash? Y'all don't have a business license or something? Nah, everything's great. All right. <laughs> the company that uh, used to wash our cars once a week, they went out of business. That is not your and uniform. You wash and you guys are half price. Who are you fooling? So you doing this just to make some extra money or for something in particular? Um, just for some extra money. Big ass uniform. That's great. You're doing well in school and you're working. Mm -hmm. I wish my Jasmine was more like that. Maybe you should spend time with Jasmine. Her. her grades are slipping and she's never home. Oh, she's the one that was selling drugs in the beginning, guys. You guys ever see her around? This is her father. Y'all no. remember the girl who was selling drugs in the beginning? No. This is no, her cop no. father. 
Yeah, I think she spends most of her time at the mall. She ain't at the mall, homie. Shopping bag. <laughs> I don't even know how she can afford all those clothes. She's strolling the block, bro. Well, I'm gonna get a cup of coffee if you could just do the outside. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Just do the outside. God. Don't look like y'all don't even want to do this job. I feel bad for him now. He's no idea what's going on. Y'all ain't about y'all money. You don't want this well, 20,000. That's not any of our business. Yeah, I guess. Hey, we're making good progress. Not really. How much you got? We barely have a hundred bucks. Hey, that's a hundred <laughs> more. Every it's twenty thousand. <laughs> that you had yesterday. Day. <laughs> yeah, but if we do the math, we have to wash like a thousand cars to get to our goal. She's Asian, I believe her math. Technically nine hundred and ninety. Nah, the difference. white girl got you. Oh, that's just a waste of time. Nah, women, women as a whole, to raise the money. they tend to be smart. Like, don't, don't under, uh, underestimate women. Ooh. You just, you just selling out in the open like this? What happened to being smooth, guys? Like, broad daylight? Broad daylight, you just sell, wow. Wow. Like, y'all don't have a neighborhood watch or something? No, nah, neighborhood watch is during the night. Maybe this is the best way to sell drugs during the daytime. Cause people are going, like, nobody like, assumes this will happen during the daytime. For the most part, all of that you know, tomfoolery, all of that shenanigans happens at night. You don't actually expect to see some white girl selling drugs during the day. That's just not something you see. Let me go ahead and read these donos. Y'all are being way too kind to me. I feel like I don't deserve all this love, but then again, I feel like I kind of do. Thank y'all. Eat my booty like a cheesecake. Thank you so much for that dono. Very funny, very funny username. Michelle Williams, or Michael Williams, thank you so much for that dunno. Fudge the dog, thank you so much for that dunno. Can you react to Meta Runner, please? It's by SMG4. I am going to react to Murder Drones and Meta Runner. I'll probably react to that after Murder Drones is done, or I'll probably do it before then. You know, you know what? Screw it. Super Mario Ultra, thank you so much for that dunno. Prince, please make a video promoting your server. Oh, the Discord? Yeah, yeah, make sure y'all go follow the Discord. Link is in the description, but I'll, I'll probably do like a video of me reacting to my Discord. So don't worry. Just Jew, thank you so much for that dono. Yo, Prince. Yo, Jude, what's up? Reginald, thank you so much for that dono. Rice, thank you so much for that dono. He said, here's my late fee. Thank you so much. Remember, guys, if you ever show up late to any of my streams, it is a $5 late fee. I don't make the rules. I simply enforce them. Kyle67, thank you for that dono. Love your videos. Have a good day. You as well, homie. Demo, thank you so much for joining Stay Charming, the highest level of membership, bro. You will not regret it. Gage gave me what another donation. He said you should start a Patreon so you can react to movies, shows, maybe anime. I would pay for it. Would y'all really? I have I've honestly been thinking about doing that for a very, very, very long time. Reacting to movies, TV shows, and anime. I just didn't know if anybody will be interested in it. So, like, you know, if you're you'll, you'll be interested in it, let me know. In um in Dom Killer, thanks so much for that dono. Hey Prince, when are you gonna finish games like Red Dead Redemption, The Last of Us? Finish what you start or make poll on your Twitter. I do need to finish what I start. I do indeed. Blamushi, thank you for that dono. And Sammy Robido, thanks so much for that donation. All right, let's get back into the video. Innocent girl becomes drug dealer. What happens is shocking. Over here selling drugs, broad daylight. She real is, she real AF. Don't tell me you're gonna start selling drugs. Yeah, damn, you talk so loud. This is way too risky. Over here, dry there snitching. There's so many things that can go wrong. I'm not doing it for any personal gain. I have a good reason. Yeah, but doing the wrong thing, even if it's for the right reason, still makes it wrong. The road to hell is Easy paved with reason. good intentions. She's speaking facts. Dying. Ooh. He needed money to save him. Ooh. What would you do? Ooh. Honestly, if my dad was dying and I needed $20,000 to save him, I'll get that money by any means necessary. That doesn't involve murder. I will say that. I can never bring myself to do that. Look at Jasmine. She leveled up, bro. Hey, what did I tell you? You can't tell anyone about what you saw. Oh, I thought she was gonna start acting brand new. Okay, never mind. She just wanted. She just swaggy. To ask how to get into that type of. I'll tell you. This isn't the way to ask. Yeah, right. You. Thank you. Stop wasting my time. Don't let her sell serious, drugs. Please. I just want to know more. Well, how does it all work? She's going to get caught day one, dude. Yeah, mind your own business, Wendy. 
I see this teacher just eavesdropping. First of all, bro, I'm telling you, teachers know so much of the high school uh, social hierarchy that's going on. They know who's popular. They know who's sleeping with who. You will be surprised on what high school teachers know about, like the students who go to their school, bro. They be paying attention. This isn't a game. They know who okay, cheating on who. Serious consequences if you get caught. Who gave a Hummer in the uh, boys' that? bathroom? There's a Hummer. Serious rewards. What's a Hummer? <laughs> I've heard it a long time ago from a white guy. Text me tonight to confirm. I'll give you the details and help you get started. Text me to confirm? What are you, a verification code? Thanks. Nah, she is looking fly though. Would y'all sell drugs in order to get more money? You're actually thinking. You know, girls, it's not good to keep secrets. It's not good to eavesdrop. <laughs> Bounce. Damn. But Tiffany. Open my business. Oh, way too dangerous. <laughs> hey, King, as your best friend, I'm begging you not to do this. Hey, she's just hey, looking out for her. We know she's hey, trying to, hey. you know, protect her friend. Maybe hey, it's too dangerous. Dangerous is my middle name. But maybe dangerous is my middle name. Okay, now. Easy ways to make money. <laughs> we already know what's going to pop up. That OF. You know, the funniest thing ever to me is whenever a girl creates an OF and it fails miserably and then she deletes it like she didn't just post her booty hole on the internet. <laughs> I know they'd be feeling so silly. Charge another few hundred dollars to tell me the same thing. We don't need to go to the hospital. I'm really worried about you, Daniel. Please just take the loan. I don't want anything to happen to you. And risk leaving you guys with all that debt. I, I mean, I love you and Tiffany way too much. I see your your reasoning, but still, bro, I, if I had a chance to live, I would try to live. I wouldn't be worried about leaving my wife with a debt. I shouldn't be here. I want to be alive so this I can way too repay much. that you debt. You don't want to be here. You don't have to be. But I've made up my mind. Tiffany. Y'all do not look like drug dealers, man. So much for me. Who the hell is buying from y'all? Get you caught in all of this. I honestly just think it's best if you go home. Be safe, okay? Call me when you get home. Be safe while you're selling drugs. <laughs> you know, I gotta be honest. I was a little surprised when you texted me. You thought she was cap? She ain't capping. She about that life. Do you just give me the stuff or? Usually you pay for the stuff or they front front you it. Oh, what is that? Ew, those look like rhino pills. Y'all know where, <laughs> y'all know those gas station rhino pills? <laughs> Never in my life will I ever take one of those. If you don't know what those gas station rhino pills are, you don't need to know because clearly <laughs> don't take them. Don't ever take them. I don't care what the label promises you, bro. You're going to wake up and <laughs> your left nut sack is going to be gone. <laughs> She's selling rhino pills, bro. Look, those fat ass pills, dude. Who the hell is swallowing these? Oh my gosh. Big old multivitamin pills. Hell no. Uh-uh. You're going to choke on it before you even get high. You're going to die before you get high. That's a lot of pills. It's 500. At $20 a pop, you'll make around 10 grand once you sell all those. Oh, damn. I need twice okay. that much. Okay, well, I can get more, but. I mean, yeah. 10 grand is a very good start. I'll to this for now. Just your luck. Just your luck. Ain't that crazy? Don't even try to run. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my what gosh. Are you thinking. Drugs? My daughter? How do you get busted you it, your first day? Say. This is so embarrassing. We're so sorry. Well, I'm equally embarrassed about my daughter, so I understand the feeling. You got busted your I'm first day on the job. What, you've been going through, Daniel. I had no idea. what a terrible drug dealer. That still does not make it okay for what you did, Tiffany. Okay, Tiger Mom. What's next? Did she go to jail or? Well, the answer is yes. She does go to jail. If, yeah, I was about to say she didn't even she buy the drugs. The drug. Like you got nothing on me, bro. Possession. 
<laughs> Talk to my lawyer. But Saul Goodman. The transaction never happened, and I can't prove for certain that she had the intention to distribute. But she said it herself. She was going to. I can't prove that. For Are you certain. trying to send your daughter to jail, so, father? No, I don't think this is a jail time case. He just he just left he just let y'all go. I can go to my room now, Tiffany. So what happens next? This father really tried to send well, her to jail. A much better punishment in mind. What you thinking? Yo, is he pee on her? Nah. <laughs> what the hell, Prince? What? <laughs> Come on! I can't have been the only one thinking that. I was like, is he giving her the old, the old, uh, R. Kelly, uh, the good old R. Kelly? I can't think of any, that? uh, funny names for R. Kelly, um. Well, can I at least give you a tip? No, I'm not allowed to take money from anyone. But thanks. It's too bad. Isn't that the same guy who arrested her? Good job. I'll give you a tip. Next time, if you see me buying drugs, let me do me. Let me do me. Let me do me, um, Bob from Walking Dead. Good job. <laughs> Y'all remember Bob from Walking Dead? <laughs> so, how many cars have you washed so far? 499. You could have had $10,000 by now. Side, at least you only have one more car to wash, right? If you were charging, you know. Because they had to wash 990 cars to make 20000 Lucky number 500. Well, Tiffany. It's bittersweet that today is your last day. How so? Nobody washes cars as good as you do. <laughs> <coughs> so, now that you don't have to wash cars all weekend, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. Are you going to pay her for all these cars she was watching, wa washing? Probably start looking for a new job so I can try to help my dad get the surgery. Well, I'm not sure you're gonna have to work. Not if you don't want to. He was helping her what out. I mean, this is a real how I this is a real cop right here. Cars for free. Yeah. I convinced the department to pay you anyway, and not just twenty dollars per car. How much? But what we were paying our old vendor. Forty. Ooh. So, here you go. Oh, she got 20, 20 bands just like that? What? No way. Pause. She was watching, watch, she was washing cars all weekend, right? You're telling me this little girl here made $20,000 in one weekend? Let me go to my local police department and ask them if they need me to wash cars for a weekend and make a smooth $20,000. Are you kidding me? Forty dollars per car, and I bet you she didn't even wash it good. Oh, she's she was probably on TikTok God. half the time. Thank you, thank you so much. Hey guys, so I'm like washing cars. Oh, I'm totally so not much. feeling it though. Like you it's not my vibe. <laughs> You're welcome. And I really hope everything works out for you guys. We're all pulling for you, Daniel. Respect, Tiffany, respect to this I cop right here. Your reasons for doing what you did, but I hope you realize. I know, I know. You gonna talk to your daughter? Doing the wrong thing, even if it's for the right reason, still makes it wrong. Your daughter was out here pushing weight. Should we all go out to eat to celebrate? Come on, yes. Like, shouldn't this cop get in trouble? Like, big trouble? His daughter was pushing big weight. Weight that she got from his evidence locker or the evidence locker, which she got access to because her dad's a cop. You would think he would be in trouble, like Let's go to his badge would be at risk. The spicy deluxe chicken sandwich with the honey mustard sauce. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You have one more car, lady. You still have one more car to wash. Yeah, make her earn her money. <laughs> don't give a sigh. You just made twenty thousand dollars. Your Forget dad's gonna be alive. One. Don't. She needs to learn her lesson. She needs to learn her lesson. She says. Like, your daughter just made your husband twenty thousand dollars. What were you doing? What were you do? What were you doing? Judging people, scolding people, huh, mom? What were you doing? Your daughter out here was 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 prepared to work them streets so that her pups can survive. What was the mom doing? Man, 
She was real. She was real. She had to do what needed to be done. She was trying to make sure her dad stayed in her life. I can't think of anything more respectable than that. This girl was trying to sell drugs. She caught, she got caught the first day. I knew it was going to happen. Who the hell is going to buy drugs from a girl who looks like you? <laughs> oh. All right. Let me go ahead and read these donations because y'all are being so kind to me. Who's Kobe? Thank you so much for that donation. Denominator Zay. Thank you so much for that donation, bro. Appreciate you so much. Benjamin Bonzer, thank you so much for becoming a member. Sammy, what another donation. Uh, Mason Perry, the kid. I kind of like that username. Mason Perry, the kid. That's kind of clean. Love your videos. I love your username. Super Mario Gabriel, thank you so much for being a member for eight months. He says, Prince, you should totally let me be a Discord mod. Uh, remind me when I end the stream and I will do that because I do see you on my streams a lot. Eli Camula, Camula, thank you so much for that donation. And my boy Kyle67 with the biggest donation of the live stream so far. And his message was, I had four missing late fees. Here it is. Wow, bro. That's what I like to see. Always pay your late fees, man. Like I said, I don't make the rules. I simply enforce them. If you ever show up late to one of my live streams, you got to pay a $5 late fee. You know? Sick. If you don't want to pay the late fee, then don't show up late. But appreciate you, Kyle67. For doing what you must do <laughs> all right this one is called dad walks out on his baby's gender reveal i'm guessing he's having a girl <laughs> i can already tell ain't no dad finna walk out on a gender reveal if it's a boy no it's not happening he's having another girl he already has a girl he's like damn it another one <laughs> and they're chinese Oh, there it goes. <laughs> he is so sad. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I wanted it to be a surprise. Can't believe this. And they'd be getting mad at the wife like the uh, wife gets to choose. Everyone. He just had some food that didn't sit well with him. Uh, Jen, help while I'll stir some cake, okay? Damn, another daughter. How many daughters does he have? He's mad. I can find a new wife. I find a new wife. She give me boy. Hey. I thought you'd be happy. All my friends and family are boys. I'm the only one without one. That's okay. Yeah. Girls are blessings too. They are, but. What does that have to do with it? I'm this? supposed to run the cafes while I retire, huh? Well, I can help. The girls can run a cafe. Come on, it's, it's not that hard. Ken. It's a man's job. Says who? Like Ken, nor you. Honey, we got his look. That's crazy. Please. She put up with this man yes. long enough it's for him to, to bust three times in her. This is her daughter. I wish you could feel just how full of life she is. She's going to be amazing again. I just know it. I guess. Is Ken okay in there? Oh, yes, he's he's okay. Okay, uh, can I make him some tea? Yes, actually, tea would be great. Thank you, Ma. Mm -hmm. Ken. We'll talk more about what we're gonna do about this later. Ken, what do you mean, do? Oh. Well, thanks for doing that. No problem. I hope it's not a hassle for you. No, sir. I care about your 50 people many times before. Great, because my wife loves all your donuts. I mean, how do you come up with this stuff? A panda donut? That's, oh, that's dope. That's I dope. I actually designed all the specialty donuts. I'm glad. Oh, wow. <clears throat> how can you marry such Sorry. a man? <laughs> how the hell can you marry you such a man? With me now? Jen, I told you, I'm busy right now. But I want to play Barbies with no. you. No. You're going to you're about to lose a customer, I homie. Play adults. Ooh, you're about to lose I, a customer. What are you doing? You're supposed to be taking care of her while I'm talking to customers. Yeah, if I Yeah, I wouldn't buy somebody from somebody who was rude I'm to so his family like this. Really? It's it's fine. I have two little girls waiting for me at home, too. Two. Mhm. Mm He's like, you're uh, miserable as well, right? So twice the problems, then. <laughs> oh, he only has one girl. Okay. Actually, I think of it more as a blessing. 
Damn, he didn't even, he left the donut. I told you, you just lost the customer. <coughs> How are you doing back here? She was smoking, she was smoking that that gas. She was lighting up. This is why she hired a man. Do you want to go rest every 10 minutes? <laughs> Yo, this dad should be listening to some Andrew Tate podcast. I'm sure he would love Top G, bro. This dad hates women. Like, if he didn't need a woman to have kids, I guarantee you, he wouldn't have a wife. He hates women. How can you possibly say this to somebody's face? First of all, we live in 2023. You say this to somebody's face, they're talking to HR. Hmm, but then again, he does own all of his cafes, so he's HR. So if you got a problem, you got to talk to him. <laughs> you know, he figured it out. He figured it out. Um... Sammy, thank you for another donation. Master Man with another dono, or with his first dono. Prince, glad you're doing a live. Can we play Overwatch? I suck at Overwatch. We can play Fortnite, though. I'm actually going to do a Fortnite live stream very, very soon. It's been a while since I've done one, so I thought it would be, you know, a good idea to pop back out with some Fort. Banny, thank you for that dono. Cheeto, he said, eat some Cheetos. Well, if I had some Cheetos, I would eat some. Would you like to buy me some Cheetos? <laughs> and Captain Final, thank you for that donation. All right, let's get back into it. Dad walks out on his baby's gender reveal. And right before we get into it, I just wanna say like a little side note. I can understand somewhat where he's coming from, guys. Like if I were to have kids, right now I'm not thinking about kids, but if I were to ever have kids, honestly, like, yes, I would want at least one boy. Think of it like this. If I, if I, had, if I had three kids and all three of them were boys, I can be okay with that. However, if all three of them were girls, I can be okay with it, but I would want to keep trying until I at least get a boy. However, if I get to five kids and all five are girls, I'm taking the L. <laughs> I am taking the L. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be like, God does not want me to have a boy. Like, it's okay. I'll be damned if I bring a six girls. I don't want time for this. I'm having the customer on big order. This better not happen again or else. Or else what? What you going to do? Where'd he go? I don't know. You had a bad attitude, so he, he left. left. Do you know how big the order was he's gonna put in? I think he got upset by the comment you made about having two girls, and he heard you yelling. No, that can't be it. Ah, you're never wrong. I know exactly the- for not stopping it. I know exactly the kind of person he is. Out the door. It's my fault. You asked me to clean and look after Jenny. And she's pregnant, homie. So that's what I did. You couldn't do one more thing? Oh my God. <sighs> Typical woman. Stop making comments like that. Jeez Louise. Anything a man can do, a woman can do too, if not better. All right, that's Cap. This is why I should stay home with Jen. Let me run everything. My dad used to make mom stay at home. Let's do the same with you. You know you live in America, right? Like, you don't have to put up with this. Us Americans, we're not all about that, um... Uh... The old time thinking, you know, where the wife has to stay at home, only take care of the kids, cook clean. Talk. Okay, about what? Oh! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know why that popped up. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh my gosh! No way! No way! He cannot be serious, guys. He cannot be serious. This guy cannot be serious. He wants to get rid of the baby. I made an appointment. She's gonna divorce his ass. After we pick up Jen from school. She is gonna divorce his ass. No, you can't be serious. We'll tell the fans of miscarriage. We'll try again. Next one better be a son. Ken, this is out of the question. There's no way. <sighs> Yeah, he's gonna everything. he's gonna push you down the stairs. Oh, he's gonna don't forget. He's gonna roundhouse kick you in the stomach. And nowhere to go, no money, nothing. Tomorrow morning at ten a.m. I mean, this is enough for discussion, okay? Naomi, you live in America, honey. You divorce him, you get half of his stuff. This is in China. This isn't Hong Kong. Hong Kong Kong. <laughs> I don't want to be here. 
Dump his ass, girl. You don't have a choice. I'm not going over this again. This is insane. I always thought it was the woman's body. Her choice. Mrs. Song, we're ready for you. Bro, she's like six months pregnant. Naomi. Someone said he's fin he's finna yeet us that fetus. <laughs> So she 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 can see he's coercing her. If you need more time to think about this. She doesn't need more time to think. Naomi, I don't feel right now. Ain't no doc. I can't think of a single doctor who would go through with this if he notices that the husband is coercing the wife. I really don't think I you will be able to find a doctor. Like the woman has to be 100% okay with it. If it looks like she's being coerced in any way, I don't think a doctor would be stupid enough to touch her. Cause that's just a lawsuit waiting to happen. This guy is evil. He is he is sin incarnate. <laughs> Look at that stare! Hell no! Oh my gosh! This guy is a villain! Yeah, maybe you should get rid of that baby, or else he'll get rid of you. <laughs> I don't think she has a choice. Okay, I get it. So what? This clinic does it both? Delivers and yeets him? Sorry, but I can't. Oh my gosh, look at that stare. What I say? If we don't do this, we cut off everything. That's fine, Ken. You could have everything. I just want the baby, that's all. You made the right choice, honey. Naomi decides to follow her heart instead of her husband's ultimatum and keep the baby girl. That must have been scary. No matter how hard Ken makes things for her, she doesn't let anything change her mind. He took her cell phone. Oh, that's her keys. What else is he taking? She leaves her credit cards behind and goes to live with her parents. What else is he taking? With Naomi and Jen gone, at first, everything seems great for Ken. So you're just jacking it now? as usual, but now without any distractions. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like pick it up because he Meanwhile, misses it, Naomi misses them. Naomi ends up having her baby. As soon as she looks into her girl's eyes, she knows without a doubt she made the right decision. Life starts to get better for Naomi. She gonna find a new man, right? And worse for Ken. He realizes Naomi did a lot more for him. Than Ugh, that ain't no him. panda. She was a big reason the business was successful in the first place. Ken, you done fumbled the bag, bro. You done fumbled it big time. Over time, without his wife's support, oh. he ends up having to close all of his other locations. Oh, poor Ken, right? Boohoo, Ken, now right? down to just his original cafe. Boohoo, Ken. Many years past. 20 years? What kind of time jump is this? this? Are you telling me this man really didn't go back to his wife or have any contact with her for 20 years? You didn't, you didn't say hi to your daughter? You didn't go to like her college graduation? Because he had one daughter already. And she was at least six years old, so I'm assuming she's a, she she's she's probably like graduating from med school. You didn't talk to it neither. That's cold, Ken. Even things for his last location are about to change. Damn, Ken. This place is already built for what you need, so you wouldn't have to do much to get it up and running. You look exhausted, Alex, Ken. What are you doing here? I'm showing the place to Mina for rent. What are you talking about? It's Let me find out. That's his rent. daughter. Ken, how many times do we have to go over this? You haven't been paying your rent. You're not paying rent. You don't get to keep the spot. Mm -hmm. We've given you so many chances. It's not my fault. Business is slow. The whole industry is down. It's not just me. It's never your fault. I don't know about that because Mina has several cafes and her businesses are booming. Mina. Congratulations. Bobby. Isn't that mean uh, everyone in Japanese? But it's not just me. It's a family business. <clears throat> family? I'm sorry I'm late. Hi. No, she know damn. 
It's a family business. Family? <laughs> she know damn well that this is her father. That this is her bum ass father. L look at it. Look at it. <laughs> if there's one thing a woman will do is let you know her life has improved without you. Oh my gosh, that is their favorite thing to do. Whenever you leave a woman, she be so she be so excited to show you how much her new boyfriend spoils her, how he treats her better than you did. Oh my gosh, she knew exactly what building this was. She knew this is where her husband or ex-husband was. She want to have a little family reunion. Stun on him. <laughs> You gotta love it. He kicked her ass out 20 years ago. It's time for you to get your revenge, baby girl. I'm sorry I'm late. Hi. Don't act shocked. You know damn well what this place was. I didn't realize you were still here. No. Naomi? Wait. You mean this is Jen? And you must be... Mina. Your other daughter. You're all grown up. That is crazy. He hasn't seen his family for so, 20 years. Uh, you guys are opening up a, a second cafe? A second? No, a 20th. 17. Damn! Will be number 18. 18? <laughs> but how? how? I, I'm struggling with... Let what? him know. I couldn't do it on my own. I have the help of my daughters. And like I tried to tell you, anything a man can do... A woman can do too. Can you pee standing up? Not better. They probably can. They just choose yeah, not to. I guess you're right. <laughs> Naomi, look, I was wrong about everything. It's too late, bro. And I should have been there for you. Oh, it is 20 years too late. In all these years, you never cared to see me. Not once in 20 years. Once. That is mind boggling. So, no offense. But I think. We're better off without you. That's the that's the right thing to say. How dare you? Oh my gosh! Father. Bro, and I'm not gonna let you have this location. That's not up to you. You don't have a choice. You ain't paying rent, okay. Marvin. We'll find somewhere else. You're missing your house payments <laughs> all the time. But I try okay. to take my shop. I can respect that, like her not even wanting to buy his his crusty ass shop. I can respect that because it, it just goes to show you how much she doesn't care. Because I'm going to go ahead and believe that she really didn't know her ex-husband was here because that has been 20 years. Like a lot can happen in 20 years. Like just walking out on him, not even listening to that that pile of horse shit he has to say to y'all. All he was going to throw is insults. Like walk out of here. You have 17 cafes. He has one. And he's struggling. He's about to have zero. It Walk out. Going to be your shop much longer. Sorry, Give him that man. eviction notice. Ugh, big eviction. Big, big eviction. <laughs> hey, Darman. Did y'all see that hey, single what? tear in his eye that was about to fall down? Poor, poor Ken, right? Aw, aw, Ken. Poor Ken. Aw, aw, Kenny. Oh, punk ass Ken. Like I said, man, like I can see his frustration, but there is no way. There's no way you force your wife to get rid of a kid just because it's not the gender that you wanted. There's no, there, there's no reason you yell at your wife the way Ken was yelling at his wife. Talk to your daughter the way you're talking to your daughter, bro. You don't tell, you, you don't say that kind of stuff, man. We're living in a new world, bro. Women can be surgeons. Women can be engineers. They can be pilots. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all ever seen a woman pilot though? Be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I have never seen a woman pilot. <laughs> you think people will get a little scared? <laughs> These are all jokes now, but like, keep it a buck. You get on a plane and then over the intercom, you know, the pilot's talking to y'all and you hear it's a woman. You stay on the plane. <laughs> Just jokes. Obviously, like most of the flying these days is autopilot. You'll be fine. Let me read these donations and then we're gonna. <laughs> Y'all are really saying no? You would leave? If your pilot was a woman, you would leave? Y'all are awful. Yeah. So, thank you so much for that donation. He said, Prince, can you react to Black Yoshi and the Birds on the SML reupload ch uploaded channel? Is that a video that I forgot to react to? Sounds like an old video. 
Diligent Kid Links. Thank you so much for that dono. Appreciate that. Super Mario Ultra, thank you for that dono. Prince, stream your server again. Let me go ahead and post my Discord server. That way, y'all can go and uh, visit. <clears throat> All right, let's get to 2,000 members on that Discord, bro. I'm about to pin it in the live chat this second right now. Uh, pinned. So make sure you go ahead and follow the Discord, sub to the Discord, become a member of the Discord. Uh, your boy created it. It has not gone anywhere. I have not deleted it, nor do I think I will delete it. So yeah, make sure you show that Discord some love. I just pinned it to the top of this live chat, and it is also in the description of all of my videos. So make sure you become a member of that Discord this second. All right. Next video up on the menu, we got mom won't feed son's best friend. What happens is shocking. Let's go ahead and see why this, won't, this mom won't feed her son's best friend. He's probably black. He's probably black. <laughs> what did I say? Like buy a, a chocolate? It's $5 a bar. Absolutely not. Oh, he sound African. Why would I spend $5 on chocolate that costs 89 cents at the store? You can just say no. Well, you see, it's for charity. Oh, right. Charity. Now that's a good one. What is your name? Me? Uh, Osaze. Osaze, right. Let me guess. It's Nigerian. Hey, I'm Nigerian. Yeah. What's wrong with Nigeria? Um, how'd you know? Because she's, her, she's heard about the Nigerian scams. <laughs> ah! <laughs> she got scammed. Ah, that's what you get. That's what you get. Niger boys up. Nigerian boys up. Come on. I'm Nigerian as well. My boy, what was his name? Uh, uh, Asoze? Yeah. She got scammed by a Nigerian. That's who you know. get. Because I was scammed by a Nigerian man with the exact same name. He said I had some big inheritance coming to me. And you fell for it. Be a bunch of baloney. It's your own damn fault for falling for it. So I'm not about to be scammed again. Well, this is not a scam. You know what? I don't want to hear it. Hey, Mom. Hey, I was wondering, is it cool if my new friend Sammy comes over? Oh, honey, um... Who's Sammy? Okay, that's fine. Okay, cool. All right, let's get it, bro. <laughs> that's Sammy. Wow. This is your new friend? I thought your name was Osaze. Uh, oh, uh, no, it is. His nickname's Sammy. Now, you're gonna call me Osaze. You didn't tell me you... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change my name this and make it more police. American for you I have to take it. Hello? You can call me by my government uh, Nigerian hey, name. <laughs> bro. I cannot wait to destroy you in FIFA. You, you ain't destroying a Nigerian in FIFA? Oh, um, they, they play that for a living. What's wrong? I don't know, man. Your mom was kind of racist to me. I don't think your mom likes me. She hurt my feelings. I, I just don't think I should come over. <clears throat> um, look, bro, she's just kind of going through some stuff right now. But don't take it personal. You're good. Don't worry. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's get it. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, you are not ready, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, a cab, you don't want to smoke. <laughs> you don't want to get smoked. My friend, I am telling oh, you. Bro, you do not want to smoke, oh. To uh, it's not that <laughs> you will not to beat me, right, I wait, say. Wait, you do not want to smoke, my friend. I will see, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna get you next game. Don't even worry about it. Did he just I eat the last pizza roll? Oh, oh yeah, just uh, check the freezer. I'll start the next game. Bro, you cannot tell your friend to check. Are you sure I can like right? Go to your kitchen? <laughs> That's the last thing I ever wanted to do, bro. If I'm over at my friend's house, I don't want to go through your fridge. Like you got to be my best friend in order for me to be feel comfortable going through your fridge, especially if your parents are home. Yo, one of my very, very, very good friends. His name is Alex. He's been on the channel before, way back in the day. So for all of you like OG people, y'all seen him on the channel. Like we were mad good friends. I can just go in his fridge, walk into his house whenever. Like I knew the code to his house. I'll just beep, 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 walk into his house, go into the fridge. Yo, what did mom buy from the store today? Like, and you know, I'll call his mom, my mom. Cause like, you know, she was the second mom to me. That's how it was. She was good, bro. But yeah, he ate the last piece of roll, bro. You go make more. It's your house. Oh, yeah, just uh, check the freezer. Why people be so casual with it? Like, you know that makes us black people so sure uncomfortable. Can, like, go to the kitchen? I don't want your mom thinking yeah. I'm robbing y'all. All right, calm. I mean, hey, be ready. Bro, bro. You, don't want to smoke again, bro. you gotta love white people, bro. They, <laughs> they, they have no stress in their life. It's such, a, it's such an abnormal. It's such a, it's such a crazy feeling to like think about. Like, white people really don't be stressing. 
they really live in a whole different bubble, a whole different universe. Yo, if you're white, live it up, man. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Um, I'm just getting some pizza rolls. Jake said I could get some. I just no. want some pizza rolls. I don't care what Jacob said. I did not give you permission to go into my That's crazy. and take out food that I purchased. Let alone eat the rest of it. Look, if Jake said I couldn't have come here, I wouldn't succumb. Yeah, sure you wouldn't have. You might be used to mooching off of people for free food, Ooh. but that is not going to fly around. She here. said, I know you're used to it the 10 cents a day can feed an African you because your mother can't. <laughs> oh! What is that supposed to mean? She brought up your mama, bro. I'm sure your mother sends you to other kids' houses so you can eat for free. Asaze. They don't have the money. Sammy. That's why you're here, right? Actually, I'm... You know what, Asaze? I'm on to you. And you better not steal any more food or anything else for that matter. Look, I can just put these back if that's okay. No, they're already ruined. You might as well eat them. I wouldn't eat them. I wouldn't give her the satisfaction or the dissatisfaction. You know what? You, you want to know what? You want to know what? I blame her. I, I'm actually upset. I don't blame. I'm actually upset at her son. I'm actually upset at the son because let me tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all this. For all my black folks out there, let me tell y'all this. I guarantee you. I pro No, not even guarantee you. I promise you. I promise you. And white people, y'all know this to be true. So you don't even have to like confirm it in the chat or say it's a lie. Just keep it to yourself because we already know it's true. I promise you. You can have the coolest white friend. You can have the absolute coolest white friend. You know, like he's your homie. You truly are friends with him. And he is truly your friend. I'm not talking about he's fake. No, I'm talking about they're truly your friend. However, they will say, they will say like, yeah, but uh, my parents, like, you know, they don't really like insert black people or ghetto people or hood people or this people. Blah, 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 blah. Essentially, their parents are racist. I would not be able to hang out with you. I'm sorry. I don't care how cool we are. And I understand, like, you have nothing to do with your parents. However, I know for a fact that if your parent was to say something mildly racist, like, oh, I just got uh, robbed today and go figure it wasn't for, by a black guy. You know, if your dad were to say something like that or your mom were to say something like that, you wouldn't correct them. You, you, you probably wouldn't laugh at it. You probably wouldn't chuckle. You probably just give them that, a face or something like that. But you wouldn't correct them. You wouldn't correct them. And then I wouldn't expect you to. I, I kind of do expect you to because like, how the hell are you going to be my friend and let your dad slash mom talk that way around you and not correct them and then act like we were like good friends? But then at the same time, bro, it's not their issue to deal with. If there's something I learned about people, if it's not their issue and they don't personally go through it in life, why would you expect them to feel the same way you do? Hey, Enough bro. of me talking. The game's about to start. You ready? I bet so. Bro. This man, this oh. man Trayvon Dixon said, Prince, we get it. <laughs> he said, bro, stop talking about my people. No, I love white people. It's just like, you know how it is. What do you, mean, you know how it is. What happened? My mom say something again. Yep, and she's made it clear that she doesn't want me here. Wait, I'm sure she does, bro. That's not true. She's just going through a lot right now. What is she going through? I mean, we all are. Was she like dating a Nigerian okay. man and then like? I'm oh, sorry is he? For whatever is he? You guys are going through, but your mom has made it very clear that she doesn't. Is that how me. she got scammed? She was oh, dating wait. a Nigerian man and wait, then like? Wait, wait, wait. He scammed her. He's on the bro. <laughs> Look. I'm gonna tell you something that I haven't told anyone at school yet. What? About a week ago. About a week ago. Sister, um, what happened? What happened? She disappeared. A week ago? She got kidnapped. My mom didn't approve of her new boyfriend, so she decided to run away. Her boyfriend was black? We haven't heard from her. We haven't seen her. I mean, that's the only reason I can think of. I'm not trying to make race about, I'm not trying to make everything about race. It's just like, well, look at the video we're watching. Why would the mom not approve of him? You know? That's why my mom is so stressed out and that's why I am too. So, I, I'm sorry, man. Dang. How do you feel, Soze? I didn't even know all this was going on. I didn't even know. I'm really sorry. Thanks, man. I'm just praying she's okay. Well, she's dating a black guy 
And he Yo, he done my dad's here. He done took her away from so her house. Go, but if you ever need anything. I'm sorry, bro, but she's on blacked. She's on blacked. Hey there. Is your mom home? I uh, spoke to her earlier today on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me go get her. Thanks. <clears throat> what you got there? Oh, these? These are just chocolates for charity. Charity? Sure, you know, that's really nice of you. Yeah. Uh, You're selling those for five dollars? Uh, five dollars a bar. Oh, you were uh, smoking. You, you smoking doinks? Give me four. One for each of my family. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry he's bothering you, officer. She's trying to mess but his bag up. A friend of my son. Uh, no, there's no bother at all. In fact, I'm the one that suggested buying some. No, no, no need, officer. It's, it's not what you think. Leave me. And weren't you just leaving, by the way? Hey, mom, don't say that to Sammy. It's okay, Jacob. And you can have this free of change. I insist it's... Uh, all right, well, thank you. I would never yeah, go back to Sammy's Jacob. house or okay, Jacob's house out. ever Thanks, again. Man. Hey, and I'm sorry again. You do not need to tell him that you're sorry. I'm never going back to your house, Jacob. I'm I'm not even sorry about so it. Is there an update? Yes, actually, yeah. I have no need Got to be news. insulted. We've located your daughter. I want to see her. Really? I want to see who her boyfriend is. Is she okay? Like, why does the mom not I'll approve? I'll take you to her. You can ask her yourself. Why does the mom not approve of oh. this boyfriend? <laughs> I mean, she did run off with the boyfriend, so I guess the mom had so a she's reason. Been a little bit um, withdrawn and slow to open up, but I feel like she's made a lot of progress. She's right over here. Was she on drugs? Yep, she was. Oh, he molly walked her ass. She got a black eye. He cracked her ass. Damn! Are you hurt? He cracked her. He said, "Bitch, this chicken cold." Bait. <laughs> Remember that scene from Boondocks? I don't really want to talk about it, but we know who did it to you. Let's just say you were right. Come on, we know who did it to you. I'm so sorry I didn't listen to you. Maybe her boyfriend is white. Like, I shouldn't bring I race up about everything. That were going on in my head. It's just because the video we're watching, you know. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. Sweetheart, if he wasn't treating you right, why didn't you just come home? I didn't know if you'd even want me to. Bro, he used her face as a soccer ball. I'm scared. <laughs> That's not of funny. I did. That's all I wanted. Uh, I wasn't sure, so. Someone says smash or pass. Who helped me and I'll pass. Roger. I'm not really attracted to girls. Told so me about this women's uh, shelter and got on. me here a couple days ago. I'm not into that. I told them to call you this morning. You know, everyone's been really nice and accommodating. And, and this is your older sister, too, so, like... Without this place, I, I don't know where I'd be. She's probably definitely done some stuff on the streets. Or something. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go get my stuff and then come home with you guys, if that's okay. <clears throat> Aw, what a happy ending for them. Aw. Thank you so much for helping my daughter. Oh, I really appreciate it. Of course. Um, is there uh, an owner here? I would love to thank them. You find oh, out the owner is uh, Nigerian. We don't have an owner. Okay, no. We're a nonprofit, so we just depend on donors who help keep the building open. Saze, what's up, man? What's up? She you she gonna think he's following them? Yep. Are you literally that desperate that you come to a woman's shelter for your ski? That's the charity he's raising money for. I'm here to donate, and it's for the shelter. Can't you see the logo? Let her know. Let her know. And this is for you. Let 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 her know. Thank you so much, Ozasi. Your dedication just has been unbelievable. Big flex, Ozasi. Has been truly remarkable. Thank you. I had no idea. What you doing later? Are you trying to link with a Saze? Trying to, tell you, is a great guy. <laughs> trying to get mean, saucy with a Saze? Him, <laughs> this place probably wouldn't even be here. Oh, come on. I'm sure that he helps out. You still won't give me credit. Wow. I highly doubt that this little 
bit of money is what keeps the shelter open. I hope your nipples I fall off. Much he's keeping for himself, if you know what I mean. Look at her, look at her. Look I at her. Don't think I follow. He was over at my house earlier. I hope those raisins just fall off in the morning. I don't think they have very much money, so I'm just saying. Oh my gosh. He's a little bit she doesn't That's stop. Miss Afoa, what a nice surprise. Ooh, Thank you so much for coming. Your in. mother fresh as hell. As I was saying, we don't have. You want to say something now? You want to say something now, lady? Oh, watch how quiet she get. Watch how quiet she get. Say something now. Say something now. Because Miss Ophia can definitely crack your ass. You know, Asaze couldn't do nothing. Nice surprise. But Ophia? So <laughs> Ophia saying, can give you them hands. We don't have an owner. Five. That was her name, right? Ophia? <laughs> Ophia Ophia going to give you them, them, them feet nice in hand. Ophia. Ophia? Miss Ophia? Miss Ophia? Ophia. 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 Thank you so much for coming in. Miss Ophia going to throw you on the floor, then uh, we don't have an owner. bust your nose. Well, uh, it may as well be Miss Ophia. Uh, Ugh. They're our biggest donors. Oh, they are. Yes. Say it's something a now. It's pleasure to meet you. Say As something you now. My son, Osaze. Say something now. Oh, he's your son. Yes, and I am so proud of him. Osaze, say, Even tell her what she was saying earlier. To this organization, he insists on raising money on his own. Tell your mom what she said Such about Nigerians. Good boy. Tell your mom what she said about Nigerians, Osaze. Oh, oh, her husband. Um, <laughs> pretty much every gas station in the city. Mm. And probably half of the real estate too. Mm. For families like this, places like this wouldn't be able to stay open. Mm. Thank you. What were you saying oh, about Nigerians? I'm completely wrong, ma'am. Thank you so much for all that you've done and all that you do. If it wasn't for you and your family. Man, if I was a Jose, I'd like. Thank you very much, ma'am. But quite frankly, eh? You can kiss my ass. No, in Nigeria, we say niash. We call it niash. It's not called ass. Like, if a girl has a big old booty, you say, shay, si niash, oh, si niash. That, says, that means look at her ass. Like, that butt is big. <laughs> Make I beg, oh, let me go chop. Let me go chop niash now. That says, please, let me eat your ass. <laughs> all right. Thank That's me. enough Nigerian lingo for now. It's all the wonderful work the staff does here. It's such a kind thing for you to say. Niash. Remember that, kids. N-Y-A-S-H. Niash. I am so sorry. I should have never judged you before getting to know you. Oh, brother. I like how he didn't even say I a word. I on myself. Don't give her a, another breath out of you. Can you ever forgive me? Ballsack, no. Well. No. There's one thing that you can do. You suck these nuts. And that's buy a box of chocolates. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can do that. In fact, I will buy all of them. I guess Osaze is a better person than me. <laughs> ah, bro, she was coming after Nigeria, man. I mean, I guess, nah, not even I guess. You came after my country. I know I'd be cracking my jokes my jokes about other people, but my jokes don't come out of hatred. She hated Nigerians because she got scammed. Ain't nobody told you to get scammed. Like, that's the oldest scam in the book. How are you really going to believe you have an inheritance coming? Who died? Who do you know that died that had money to leave you? You really fell for that. That's your own damn fault. I don't feel sorry for you, Gretchen. She reminds me of a girl named Gretchen. <laughs> Super Mario Ultra. He said, Prince, when the stream is over, go to the server and talk in the chat. Yeah, I'll do just that. I'll even do it live on the stream. I won't even end the stream. I'll just talk on the Discord. Make sure you are following the Discord. Let's get to 2,000 2, members. I remember in the Prime, I had like 10,000 members. But then I deleted my Discord three times. <laughs> I guess y'all got tired of like re-adding or rejoining a new Discord every single time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read some of these donos. BJ Jabez, thank you so much for that donation. What's up, Prince? I'm so happy for joining members. Yeah, man, I love that too. I love when my Discord gets new members. So, thank you for that dono. He said, Black Yoshi and the Birds is an old SML series. Oh, wow, they had an old SML, SML series? Got it. Chill Boy, thank you for that donation. We need more Creepy Dora. I got you, bro. I'll try to upload a new Creepy Dora this week. I got you. Thank you for reminding me about that. 
Joshua Fernandez, thank you so much for being a member for 27 months. He said, yo, it's been a while. Three months until 30. See you soon. Thank you so much, Joshua Fernandez. Wow, 27 months. That is a long time. Trenzy123, he said, this is his first dono. Can I please be a mod? As long as you're continuing... As long as you continue to be in the streams, you know, I got you in a mod. I'm very kind when it comes to stuff like that. Chub Thunder. Wow, what a very funny username. Chub Thunder. <laughs> Hello, Prince. I love your videos, and I've been watching for four years now. Also, I was late, so I had to pay my late fee. Love you, Prince. Love you too, Chub. <laughs> love you too, Chub. Thank you so much for paying your late fee. Woody McQueen. What is up with all these names that are like, you know, suggestive? <laughs> Woody McQueen. Thank you so much for that dono. What's the funniest video slash clip you have ever seen? In my opinion, it's the man yelling like a lizard. I don't know if I can give you a funniest, bro. Like there's just way too many internet moments that are funny. Sorry. I can't like really like, I can't really like, you know, and there's so much that I don't remember right now, but if I were to see it again, I would die laughing. So that's kind of a hard question to ask, but instead of me just saying, I don't know, let me say, um, let me, let me say, oh, there is this funny video of this guy, like, he was stealing from Forever 21, and he's trying to, like, shimmy across, like, he's, like, two stories up or three stories up, and he's, like, hanging off of the building, trying to shimmy across that way, like, they can't catch him, and he falls, obviously, thank God there is grass and bushes at the bottom, but the way he falls... Like, you can see his kneecaps just, just being demolished, just disintegrating into dust. <laughs> Very funny video. Cheeto, thanks so much for that donation, bro. What a big dono you gave me. Eat Cheetos next stream, or else you will never touch a Cheeto bag again. I'll try. If I remember, I'll try. I'll try to eat some hot Cheetos just for you, bro. Moki, th thank you for that dono. Hey, Daddy Prince, here's my late fee. I mean, technically, Moki, the late fees are $5, but you know, you know, you know, it's better than nothing. I'll let that slide for now, Moki. Uncle Zero, thank you so much for that don donation. He said, Prince, go react to the new SML video, please. When have I ever, when have I ever not reacted to the SML video? And when have I ever reacted to it on stream where I'm doing something totally different? I can say it a million times and y'all will still tell me to react to the new SML, so I'm not even gonna bother. Super Talents, thank you so much for that dono. Can I be a mod prince? Also, how's your day? My day is going great, thanks to you, because you know, you donated to me. But yeah, if you're on the stream still, I'll give you a mod shit. And last donation so far is Zaven McDermott. Thank you for that dono. All right, the next video we got for y'all today is called <clears throat> Crazy X kidnaps new girlfriend, and this is rated PG-13, so I guess Darman is going to have a little curse word here or there. Crazy X kidnaps new girlfriend? I don't ever want to date a girl that crazy where she kidnaps my new girlfriend. Miss Imagine. me with that. The point of going to the gym is to actually work out. Yeah, I was uh, just about to. She kind of does look crazy, too. Yeah. Not her. I'm sure it's the white girl. Oh, my gosh. All right, we, ha we have Drizzy Drake. What? We got Drizzy Drake. No Why don't we leave before we find out that... Damn, Drizzy, she got some ass. Going? Oh my god, Michael, hey! Oh, Ugh. I that was so thir you. That is so thirsty. Oh, hey, Jen. Uh, it's been a while. Crazy thing is, it'll still work on guys being well, thirsty. 181 <laughs> days and... Damn! So Damn! To be exact. No, she crazy, bro. <laughs> don't touch her. Good, uh, good man, good man. Is he working out now? When we were together, you didn't want to go to the gym once. Well, a lot's changed since then. Now I'm here like all the time. Yeah, so anyway, if you're not- All that you, shoulder rub? Is it just me or your vibe? Damn! <laughs> Damn, who is he? Why he got juice like this? Hold on, let me let me observe his techniques. Why he got two girls walking up on him at the gym? At the gym, mind you. The gym is where girls never talk to guys first. Like ever, the only time a girl will talk to a guy first at the gym is to ask him if he's still using the bar or if he's still using the machine. He got two honeys walking up on him. Okay, yeah. Juice Man. Now I'm here like all. OJ, the, the Juice God. Yeah. So any. See you. I see you. Hey you. Is it God, look at that Riz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been targeting my arms a lot more recently. Seems like he's more interested in her. Actually, I'm still pretty sore from our last workout, Ooh. so I was. Thinking, <laughs> what did y'all work out? Just pay you for the hour and we could get protein shakes instead. And he's getting paid? Oh my gosh. 
he gets to work out these women, they race him up, and he gets paid? Bro, you're a gigolo. You're an American gigolo. All hell the American gigolo. <laughs> Simply put. Right. He getting paid, guys. All right. um, anyways, it, it was nice running into you, Jen. And uh, enjoy your workout. These girls are paying him to flirt with him. Wait, you're just gonna leave? Crazy. Yeah. Lisa's my client. She paid for the hour. So, yeah. I feel like personal trainers get the most... Get the most play, it's some fun. of the most play time. I'm sure I'll see you real soon. I kid it's you not. Coming up. Damn, she counted. Bye. This girl's crazy, bro. This girl is, mm. this girl's nutty. Okay. <laughs> She's nuttier wow, than squirrel nice. poop. Why you wanted to come to this gym? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't even know he worked here. Mm hmm Oh yeah? So you're telling me that you didn't see his newest Instagram post? <laughs> also liked from your stalker account. Oh, she got a burner account as well. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. She want her some drizzy drink. Adrian, in two days, it's gonna be six months from our breakup. I prefer to call it giving each other space to work on ourselves. Six we months anniversary for a breakup. People say a lot of things when they're mad. He unfollowed you. He even blocked your phone number. Well. He didn't block my email. Oh my gosh. So obviously he's still hoping I contact. Him. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, look. She is um, delusional. After we broke up, we agreed that if we couldn't stop thinking about each other for six months, we meet at the plaza and- I don't believe that. Sitting there with roses and a ring. I believe that's what you and wanted to hear. He agreed to that before or after he blocked you. That's not the point. Okay? I don't believe he said that. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, I don't believe a word of I don't believe a word of that. I need to find out more about this Lisa girl. Something's off with her. Adrian, come on. Now look, guys. I think crazy girls are hot as much as the next guy. But to okay. date them. Here we go. Oh, that's a big hell's knob. You're so funny. <laughs> she is not that funny. He is not that funny. She's He's just flirting. I want to say something. Oh, chill. Okay, you can't do that. You and Michael are not together anymore. That's how you get a guy's panties wet. Look, Tell him he's funny. I'm your best friend, so I need you to listen to me. You can't force someone to love you. You hear me? Jen. Jen. That has to hurt, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. That has to hurt, though. I can't really understand it because I'm not a girl. So like, whenever you see a girl flirting with the guy, does that hurt more? And this is like for all of my women in the in the stream. Whenever you see a guy you have a crush on and he's flirting with another girl, how bad does that hurt? Because from a guy's perspective, if we have a crush on a girl and we see uh, the uh, a different guy flirting with her, you know, because I have to keep it opposite. That would hurt the that that wouldn't hurt me. That wouldn't hurt me. Because the guy is flirting with her. You know, for all I know, she's not interested. However, if a girl is flirting with a guy and he doesn't like immediately shut it down, he would hit it. Plain and simple. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If a guy does not shut down the flirting or like make it obvious he's uncomfortable, he is hitting that thing. He hitting it. But a guy can flirt with a girl all day and like. You'll never know because she could just be playing nice. She could just be acting nice. But if a girl fucks with a guy and the guy doesn't shut it down, he is hitting that thing. Let me tell you that. Oh and they got God. smoothies together. Ooh. Michelle said it hurts a lot. I just broke up with my girlfriend. Lisa, oh, you're gay? I'm not trying to give you the wrong impression. Shout out LGBTQ. You have a girlfriend, don't you? Oh, he's not I feeling mean, her. No, not, not exactly, but... What did I tell y'all though? He shut it down. Even though we're not together officially, my heart does belong to her. What did I tell y'all? He shut it down. If he was feeling her, he it. wouldn't shut it down. He still loves me. Oh my gosh, she is so delicious. Where are you going now? <laughs> to get my nails done for the proposal. I'm gonna need you to walk away from the camera. No? Okay. <laughs> on, you know me. I love me some Niash. What I'm, gonna, he doesn't show. I'm just gonna start saying yes yeah. now instead of ass. He loves me. I know he does. Remember, He's guys, that's a Nigerian way to say it. 
This is all in her head. Wait. Oh my gosh. Who who is she really who is she really seeing? Who is she really seeing? Cause I know it's not him. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh. You're, hey. He's waiting. He's he's waiting for somebody else. What was meant to be? Um, Jennifer. And the friend bought it. Would you? Yes, yes, a million times, yes. Would you mind moving out the way? <laughs> right. Sorry, I shall let you ask. I know you've been waiting all this time. Um, I, I was no, I was just gonna ask if you wouldn't mind moving <laughs> over. I, I'm just trying to get to Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. You gotta go home right now and drive off a cliff. Are those for me? <laughs> there is no any acceptable other option. You gotta go in your car right now and drive off a cliff. Who is this? That is embarrassing. This is Clarice. Clarice is my... Girlfriend? Fiance? I actually wanted to ask if I can call you my girlfriend. <laughs> that was so cheesy. <laughs> Damn, that was cheesy as hell. <laughs> I I wanted to ask if you know if it'll be okay if I call you my girlfriend. <laughs> you don't have to answer now. I gave you a note. It says yes, no, or maybe. Just cross one. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't I can't even get mad at his game, bro. He had three he has three girls who want him. He got her, the girl he just trained, and this crazy chick that's um, you know, third wheeling. So I can't even get mad at him because clearly he's doing something that works. I can't even get mad, right? I wanted to ask if I can call you my girlfriend. Oh barf. Yes, of course. <laughs> I don't I don't understand. This is Trayvon said, Prince, you're cheesy. You Look at you. I am kind of cheesy. Wait. What? What are you talking about? It's been six months. We agreed that if we couldn't stop thinking about each other, we would meet here and you were going to propose. We never agreed to that. Oh. Oh, did he actually agree to that? I totally Wow, she that. wasn't lying. Babe, we're going to be late for dinner, so we should probably go. Yeah, yeah, you're right. She said deuces, ho. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry for the mix-up. Right, you take care. All right, he actually did say that. Wow, he actually did say that. I'm so sorry, Jen, but I guess this is the final confirmation that you needed to move on. She ain't gonna move on. Move on? We wouldn't have a darn man video if she moved on. That's the last thing I'm gonna do. Woo! Be careful who you mess with, guys. Be careful who you mess with. She's gonna poke a hole in the condom, but the hardest part is gonna be actually getting him to sleep with her. And what are you doing? Chloroform? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. I don't know if y'all ever watched movies, but like, I don't know if you ever watched movies. Of course I watch movies, but that's not how chloroform works. Apparently it takes like three minutes, sometimes even longer. And they don't like truly knock out for a long time. Like they'll pass out, but they won't knock out for a long time. So if you're trying to kidnap somebody, um, chloroform is not the way to go. Oh, is this a shrine of him in her room? You're not leaving here alive. <laughs> she ripped that mustache off. Untie me. Let me go. Why are you doing this? Because nobody, not even you, Ooh, that's scary. come between me and the love of my life. If a girl ever had a shrine of me in her room, bro, I would have to report it to authorities. Oh. That is creepy. Oh, she even has the the, the little oh like the <laughs> when you're solving a mystery, like those police detective shows when they're solving a mystery and they have the string going from here to there and there to here. Like, what the hell are you trying to to solve? You're trying to figure out his every movement, who he's currently seeing. Yep, she she knows everything about you. Wow. She is really taking crazy to another woman. She's literally taking crazy to another level. What did I say? You're insane. You need help. You don't tell a crazy person they need help. You're just gonna piss them off. What are you gonna do to me? Well, 
I could tell you. Or. Oh, God! I could show you. All right, then now's when you plead. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually going to hurt you. Oh, then I'm not scared I'm anymore. I'm keep you here long enough for Michael to forget all about... If you're not gonna Stay kill here. me, uh, you have a choice. If you're not gonna kill me, best believe I'm getting out of those ropes. You're not in the Boy Scouts. You don't know how to tie a knot. Is she gonna leave the blade in the same room as you? Oh, there's Michael. He used he used track my iPhone to find his girlfriend. Michael, what a surprise! What are you doing here? Can I come in? Uh, yeah, sure. All according to plan. That's what she's thinking. Look, I I'm sorry to show up like this, but Clarice isn't answering any of my phone calls. Oh, um, is everything okay? No, no, it's it's not. I don't, I don't understand. She she completely just cut things off. She thinks that I'm in love with you. Oh, so, so she messaged she that? him crazy. from the girl's phone. So did you say anything to her? No. How can you even ask me that? But I would never get involved in your relationship. Look how she's touching you, bro. Don't believe her. Sorry. You know, maybe she does. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> this is the perfect moment. Like she actually set this up pretty damn good. The part where she messed up was having the woman in the same apartment. Like he's gonna hear her. All she does has to do is scream and he will hear her. But men have moment of weaknesses. Oh my gosh, if this is real life, he would be he would be banging this crazy ass girl. He would be banging her, but this is not real life. Point, this is Darman. Huh? Maybe she sees something that you don't. I mean, what we had was pretty special. Jen, please. Don't this... you get it? <clears throat> Clarice ghosting you is a sign that you shouldn't be with someone else. I mean, you don't deserve to be with someone who treats you that way. I would never do that to you. It's okay. Is he gonna fold? It looks like he's folding, guys. Why don't you sit down and I'll make you your favorite tea. Oh my gosh, she's honey potting him. Too, honey. She honey potting him. You still know? Oh, it's working. I know everything about you. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. He's folding. I told you guys. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? I said when a man has a moment of weakness like this, he will fold. He's got he's about to fold, guys. Oh, nope. Never mind. He just saw the picture and re and remembered she's crazy. He was like, what was I just thinking now? He had a momentary last but uh, last but judgment. Two scoops of honey and I made sure it wasn't too hot. She is honey potting him. She drug that? This is amazing. Hopefully not. No one makes tea like you. Oh, stop it. Hey. <laughs> Sorry for coming here and accusing you. I, I, I really appreciate you being here for me. I'll always be here for you. It just, it really hurts me to see you hurt. But hey, I know it'll cheer you up. What if I make your favorite cookies? Oatmeal raisin, and I'll take them out early so they're soft and gooey. Who the hell's favorite cookie is oatmeal raisin? I hate you, no, Michael. Yes, I, I know the cookies. I hate you, Aubrey. What's wrong Here, with you? Why don't you make yourself comfy and pick a movie on my laptop for us to watch? <laughs> no, she's coming with pressure. <laughs> Bro, she is applying pressure. She got you nice. She got you all nice, comfortable and snuggly. She just made you some tea the exact way that you like it. She's about to make your favorite cookies and you're about to watch a movie on her laptop while she does it. Shit, she'll probably rub your feet too if you ask her. Nah, she's applying pressure. I'm sorry, but a lot of men would have folded by now. Tons of guys would have folded way by now. Okay. She is applying pressure, guys. She says she's gonna take them out so they're still soft and gooey. Ooh. What's the password? It's your birthday. Um, it's your hmm. birthday. I love Michael No Spaces. Oh wow. What? That's even it's worse. True. And it's not like I'm just gonna forget about you like Clarice did. Damn, Michael. <clears throat> you got too many girls in your life. Oh, 
know she's still logged what into her, is this? into her burner account. Have you been stalking my girlfriend? No, no I, I can explain. Are you serious? See, this is exactly why we broke up. You're always just so jealous, controlling, obsessive. This is too much. No, oh stop. Just hear me out. No, 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 Jen. This is actually nuts. This is nuts, Jen. No, don't I'm say that. Nuttier I'm than squirrel you. poop. Why, you love me? Why else would I be willing to do all of this for you? I care about you. I know, I, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No, this is you can't obviously leave. a huge mistake I coming here. I can't live without you. No, I'm please. leaving. Just, yeah, you gotta leave. No, I'm you gotta leave, bro. Oh, yep. Sit down. Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> you you already had the door open. You could have you could have ran, right? Nah, you know what? I wouldn't risk it. Let me see how much time he had. Nah, there's no way he could have gotten away. She would have stabbed him in his back, and he he, he would have lost the feeling in his legs. And then she would have had to take care of him. She would have loved doing that. Now he's trapped in a wheelchair, and she'll have him forever. Yeah. Yeah, best idea to close that door. You're not, you weren't gonna make it. Look at her, she's not thinking. Just, just, just stop talking, stop talking. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna make you the cookies and you're gonna eat them. And I love you, you're gonna love me. You have to love me. Say yes. Go with it, bro. Jennifer. Go with it, you idiot. You can't force someone to love you. Are you trying to die? Yes, I can't. Because I'm the one with the weapon. Crack her ass! <laughs> this man's an idiot, bro. This this girl has a knife to your face, talking about the only thing she wants is for you to love her. You can't force people to love you. I'm sorry. What? I would be like, oh, I love you, baby. I always love you. I'll never stop loving you. It's not like I was actually gonna hurt her. I just wanted her out of the picture. Plus, I'm totally over Michael now. I swear. Mm. Oh, she locked on to someone new? <laughs> no way. His name is Steve Aker. No middle name, single, two children, both boys, three and seven. Before he was a prison guard, he was a lifeguard. And he had a 3.62. She's in love with a prison guard. This woman is crazy. I know anything about the prison system. He's hitting that. <sighs> Y'all know prison guards are like some of the most corrupt people, right? They're the ones sneaking all the drugs in, the cell phone, weapons, etc., etc. Ah. That girl was nuttier than squirrel poop. I will continue to say that. Men, I know we like to kid around and say, yeah, I want a girl who's crazy about me. You do not want a girl that is that crazy about you. Like a little crazy is cool. It's sexy. It's fun. You know, it keeps things interesting. But that girl was true, like legit crazy. Like the kind where you, she should be in a straight jacket away from society crazy. Like don't, no, don't date a girl like that. I don't care how crazy about her she is about, crazy about you that she is. It'll never end well. All right. But yeah, that was a very, very, very interesting video. I think that was a favorite one so far. All right, let's go ahead and read these donos. Mega Memes, thank you so much for being a member for three months. Hey, Prince, I'm glad to be a member of your channel for three months. Appreciate that so much. Zavin McDermott, thank you so much for that donation, bro. Super talents, thank you for that dono. Can I be a mod, Prince? Also, how's your day? My day is excellent. How's your day? DJ, thank you for that dono. And Mega Memes with another big donation. He said, bro, this crazy girl needs to go to a mental hospital. I agree with you 100%. That girl was crazy. Next video we have is famous girl won't pay at restaurant. She lives to regret it. 10,000 likes in the first hour. She thinks she's too famous to pay? Insane. Wait, is this, what quality is this on? Okay, HD, it's HD. What are people saying? Gorgeous. You should be on the cover of a magazine. Someone said if uh, did you get it? After? If pedophiles weren't allowed on TikTok, most yeah. girls won't have followers. This girl just <laughs> eight minutes asking if I got it at Forever Twenty One. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Wait, you're gonna, you're gonna. Oh, she probably meant to. You're gonna argue with a fan. A lot of people love that story. That's how you destroy your career in ten seconds. Ugly face in my comments. Any? Yeah, I don't know how you got famous. There. 
designer clothes, not cheap knockoffs. Let me find out. Let me find out her friend is the girl who commented I that. <laughs> no, I don't think you should send that. Too late. I already did. And I'll block her too, so she can't even respond. Damn! Annoying. You gonna go off on her and then block her? What is wrong with you? Let me know if you need anything else. What kind of uh, salad is that? Kind of is this coleslaw? This is coleslaw, guys. With a random ass, what is that? A mushroom? I don't know. What? No, no. I would send this back. This is not salad. This is coleslaw. Add some mayo in. What, what else is in coleslaw? I don't even know how they make coleslaw. But this is coleslaw, guys. That is not. That is not salad. Shame on y'all for serving that Let to me. Let me know if you need anything else. Uh, I need you to take this back. You. That's what I need. There's nuts in the salad. Are you trying to kill me? Oh my gosh. Did you tell me you had a nut allergy? No. You should have asked. <laughs> You're right. I'll go talk to the chef. <laughs> I don't have time to just sit around and wait. I'm you should have asked, asked she said. Ugh. Just take it off the tab. Go make me a new one and we'll take the two to go. Okay. I'll be back. You were a little dramatic, don't you think? Seriously, Alicia? My life is on the line, and you think I'm being dramatic? Okay. Well, you still could have been nicer. Alicia, how are you hanging out with a girl like this? I'm big influencer now, but like my mom used to say, be nice to people on your way up, because you might pass them again on your way down. Mm. Unless your mom gets 10,000 likes in an hour, not taking it. Back. Yeah, she's not thinking that ahead. She's, not, she's living that high life right now. She's on top of the world. Wait, you're still charging us for the salad? Nuh uh. After your screw up, everything should be free, including my friend's meal. Mandy, that is so not necessary here. I, I Leave it, Alicia. We're not paying. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I'm not sure I can do that. Well, you better figure it out. Do you know who I am? Uh, don't say that. The second you say, do you know who I am? I immediately cringe because I don't care who you are. I truly don't care who you are. If I didn't recognize you off first glance, I don't care who you are because that means you're not important to me or you're not like a significant celebrity to me. You may be the most famous TikToker in the world. If I don't personally know you, what is that going to do for me? I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't, I don't need to shake your hand, talk to you, ask you any questions, ask for an autograph. But I'll tell you this much, if like Leonardo DiCaprio walked into a restaurant, you know, I, I don't wanna say what's up to Leonardo DiCaprio or like Denzel Washington or Dave Chappelle or Brad Pitt. You know, people like I knew, recognized, not I knew, knew, but like recognized walked in. You know, I may fangirl a bit, but if you have to ask me, do you know who I am? <laughs> You're already lost. No. You're already I'm lost. Sorry. You look familiar, though. Look me up on TikTok. I have over a million followers. Oh my gosh, this is so cringe. I have to make a story telling everyone how your restaurant sucks. She's not even a restaurant. She just works here. Talk to your manager and figure this out. She don't give a damn about this restaurant. Chop, chop. <laughs> oh, she gonna tell you chop, chop too like you're a dog? Oh no. Oh no. That girl oh no, 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 no. She said she'll tell her TikTok followers not to come here. So what should I do? Oh yeah. My kids talk about her. She recently went viral for some dance videos. Oh, so she like is kind of famous. Followers. Surprised you don't know her, Cass. You want TikTok? Yeah, but I don't have a lot of followers. Who is she? I think her name is Mandy something. Mandy no Maytag? <laughs> Mandy Bailey? I went to middle school with her. I thought she looked familiar. You know, it's not that much, and we don't want to get on her bad side, so just tell her we'll comp her. Wow. I mean, I guess I guess if the manager knows her, then he'll probably do that. It's not worth the okay, bad review salad, on no TikTok. Nuts, no charge. I actually think I know where I recognize you. Sorry, no photos. I have a huge deal to close. Probably like three years of your salary. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I would have to trip her or something. I'm so sorry. And she's not even going to carry her bag. She's not going to carry the to-go bag. She's going to make her friend carry it. Oh my gosh. Has changed since middle school. People like that are insufferable. <laughs> well, Mandy, I have to say, we are all very excited to work with you. Same. 
So are you looking for me to do a couple Instagram posts with your products or? We are thinking much bigger than that. We want to release friendship bracelets. They are not real gold to keep the price affordable for younger people. Okay. And that can sell. Part that can sell a lot. They come with an anti-bullying campaign behind them. That will sell like hotcakes. Teen, teen, teens love that. That is a cause I am so passionate Yeah, that's about. definitely a good um, not, sponsorship. I get bullied. Oh, brother. Earlier today, for example, there was this girl making fun of my outfit on Instagram. She's oh a victim, guys. Alert the authorities. What I always do, respond with kindness and love. Because in my heart, I just want the best for them. That is so sweet. This girl's a liar. This girl's a liar. She doesn't see you. She just want, I don't even know the lyrics, but good enough, of, uh, of, uh, good enough, of, uh, of, uh, good enough, of, uh, of. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I call me Prince Spice. Like that. She's the whole reason I'm doing this. When I learned that she was getting bullied at school, seeing how sad it makes her. Yeah, guys, don't bully people. I need to do something. So what better way than a whole campaign around friendship? <laughs> and with you, Mandy Bailey, as the face of it. You're about to make a bully the you face of your anti-bullying campaign. The face of it? Oh, that's going to be wow. a PR disaster. There's a whole magazine cover involved and everything. Here's the contract. You're going to destroy your Take company. As much time as you need to look over it. Oh, goodness. And when you're ready, there's a $50,000. $50,000. Ooh. I'm in. <laughs> Bro, I don't even get paid that much. Oh, it will. These girls make so much money off of just an Instagram post, guys. That's crazy. Do you give me the cash now? No, that would be me. Like, when do I get the money? You gonna answer me? Hey, Alicia. You have a Porsche now? How in the world can you afford all of this? Easy. I just have to put down 5K and then pay another 5K a month. $5,000 a month? About running out of money? That's a lot no. of money. The CEO said that the 50K is just the first payment. Ooh. There's gonna be lots more where that comes from. <laughs> Girls make so much money on social media, bro. Uh, film a quick TikTok of me. It's kind of fun going viral. It's kind of unfair. Put yourself and then put it in a wrap. She gonna start rapping? One thing about me is I just got a Porsche. I struck a deal with a jewelry store and hey, 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 girly. I just toured the inside. Ooh, you are gonna love this place. It's a little bit over the price range you gave me, but well, once you see it, you won't want anything else. Oh, I'm so excited. How much over her price range are we talking? Yeah, $5,000. Over budget. <laughs> so 10 grand. 10K? Mandy, I don't think you should be spending this kind of money. Don't worry about it, Alicia. Think about the content I can create here. This is the mistake a lot of content creators make. Run, now, let's go look inside. Obviously, man, in her situation i understand why she's comfortable this girl just made fifty thousand dollars to become the face of an anti-bullying campaign and sell friendship bracelets most guys on social media we don't make that kind of money girls they make y'all have no idea girls make so much more money than men on social media it's not even funny it's not even funny when it comes to ad rates sponsorship ads all of that they make so much more than guys believe it or not like look it up they make more money. So I can understand her, you know, going a little crazy with her money. However, I've been a YouTuber for six years. I didn't get my first fancy, nice car until year four. Because I've had my Corvette for two years, a little over two years. So like, I haven't, I didn't get a fancy car immediately. Didn't get a fancy place immediately. Like, I took my time. I wanted to make sure, like, it was for real. So I remember like my first year or two on YouTube, like I was living so frugal. Like I was so frugal because I didn't know if I was just gonna randomly fall off and not have a job anymore the next day. So you gotta play it smart guys. Like don't go crazy with your money so soon, as soon as you get it. That's broke people mentality. I think I watched an interview where DAG was like, he has $700 to his name and he spent 600 of it on some Balenciagas. Oh, wow, I, I can't believe it's you. 
What an idiot. Can I take a selfie with you? <laughs> Sorry, I don't do photos when I don't have makeup on. Oh, it's okay. I, I can use a filter. Didn't you hear me? I said no. Now buzz off. All you had to do was say no. You know, you're you're 100. percent You know, it's um, your oh, right no. to deny a picture, but you don't have to oh, be mean. Oh, great. You're that waitress, Cass. Mm hmm. Whatever. Listen, I need this dress. Well, I saw it first. It doesn't matter. I'm wearing this for a photo shoot, which I'm sure is way more important than whatever. Cass, now you gotta buy it. <laughs> you know, for the face of an anti-bullying campaign. Oh, you saw that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, my point is, I can't believe that you still treat people like garbage. Still. Really I mean, still. most That's influencers. With the restaurant. We most the influencers together. are terrible Cassie people. Goldberg. You still don't remember me, do you? No offense. You're just not very memorable. No, nah, that was cold. That was nice. She got you there. Yeah, I remember you. you <laughs> she got you there, Cassie. Person. You see. Were you when overweight? I was little, oh, that's I your mom. I was diagnosed with this rare health condition and had to take these pills. The pills helped me feel fine. But little did I know. Made you gain weight? One of the side effects would be. Weight gain. They make me gain weight. Yep, how much she so weigh? I felt really insecure about myself all the time. I'm not even gonna lie. Bad enough. Even being a guy, like. But what made things 10 times worse? I get insecure as well. I decided to point out how much weight I had gained. What a terrible thing. Students. You made fun of me constantly. That's something I can't bring myself to do so easily. Don't get me wrong, like, if a girl's asking, not nah, not even. That is like a sucker punch. That's the lowest of all lowest insults to tell a woman. I don't, like, you gotta think of something else before you go that low. So like, if you argue with a girl, and you are, you're arguing with a big girl, she's clearly big, she's overweight, she's hefty, 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 hefty. Like, she's big, duh. She knows that, you know that, her mama knows that, everybody knows that. So like, you can't just immediately call her, oh, with your big ass, or you fat ass. Like, you can't immediately go there. You gotta crack other jokes. Cause I just don't, I just don't believe in calling a girl fat, bro. I just don't believe in it. If she coming at you first, then I, I can let it slide. I won't be like, oh, bro, you shouldn't have said that. Cause she coming at you first. But bullying somebody because they're fat, whether they're a girl or a guy, you know, it's still bad for both ends. But with a girl, it's just, it's just so much more worse. Cause we all know. We put so much emphasis and um, pressure on how women look. Like men, when we're fat, we can get away with it so much more easier than a woman can. If a woman is fat, bro, she will not hear the end of it. People will remind her every day that she's fat. It's, 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 it's crazy. Like they will tell her every day that she's fat like she doesn't already know that she's fat. That's, that's hilarious, right? So that's why I never, you know, felt the need or, you know, I think it's tacky as hell spend so many to call a girl fat. Crying by myself in the bathroom. Because she knows, bro. Like, she definitely knows she's fat. Eventually, things got so bad that I had to transfer schools just so I could get away from you. Damn, that's crazy. So you see. So how did you lose the weight? That's why I still deal with so much insecurity about my body. And that's why I lost so much weight, too. Oh, you scarfed and barfed. So in other words, you should be thanking me for making you look way better. <laughs> no! <laughs> hi, hi, Mandy. Thank you. This so woman is the devil. Way better. Well, <laughs> you're welcome. This woman is the devil, yo. Hi, hi, Mandy. Thank you so much for coming into our boutique. If I can get you anything. I'm only calling on a little secret, bro. Actually, yes, there is. Satan? Just bring this up. Satan is a woman, bro. Please. Who else can, who else could possibly? No, nah, I'm gonna I'm say that for later. <laughs> Things are going amazingly. She said you should be yeah, thanking me then. Hit. But it has also helped all of our stores to generate lots of publicity and most importantly make a positive impact in the community that's great <laughs> although i can't say i'm surprised so i know i said the last agreement was just to start but now that we know this works we want to extend your contract for next year too how much you paying me that's so all i care about thinking. how much 250 oh my god uh, 
You're kidding me. <laughs> no. <laughs> all you have to do is sign on the dotted line and it's all you Never have. take the first offer though, you silly goose. <laughs> Um, boss? <laughs> Silly goose. You never take the first offer. Oh, it can wait. Trust me. A quarter of a million? see this. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, she's snitching. What's going on? You got recorded. There seems to be a video going around that mentions your name. Play it. One thing about me, I was bullied in school by Mandy Bailey, who thought body shaming was cool. She laughed at me and made me cry. It got so bad that I wanted to die. Your career is over. <laughs> it goes on. She made a trendy little rap to it. You probably want to watch it all. Was there any proof, though? Did that really happen? Oh, come on. She's just jealous because... My career is taking off, and she's just some waitress at a restaurant. Ah, you just it's told just on yourself. One voice out of millions. Mandy has a point. We can't just assume because one person. Oh, but said there's a lot more. I mean, that's just the most popular one. It, it's really going viral. Uh, let me see. It's not worth it. You're gonna have to drop her. Here's another one from this girl. Uh, oh, eight one eight. That's the one she went off on. DM, it wasn't anything nice. I won't even pretend. You had no flow. She called me ugly, made fun of my clothes, and blocked me. And this goes to show not all influencers. Damn, are stay on B, girl. Thing about me is Mandy Bailey said, Hold on, I got her. I got her. Uh, Jess 818. Uh, uh. Thing about me is Mandy Bailey sent me a DM. I can't even do anything. Anything nice, I won't even pretend. She called me ugly. Made fun of my clothes and blocked me. And this goes to show not all influencers are who they pretend to be. Made fun of my clothes and blocked me. And this goes to show not all influencers are who they pretend to be. That's an awful flow. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> what happened to always responding with kindness and love? It was a lie. Is it too late to sign that contract? Oh, it's too late, honey. Even if you signed it, they would have just ripped it up. I'm sorry to hear about what happened. It's crazy how many followers you lost from it. And you gotta move out. You have to get back the what Porsche. What happened to the Porsche? Oh, she did. I had to get rid of it. And my new apartment. Oh. After that waitress called me out on TikTok, everything went downhill. You got lost in the sauce. I am so sorry. You did it to yourself. I'm sure your agent will get you another brandy. Ugh, that's over too. My agent and my manager dropped me. You did it to yourself, like, honey. What else can go wrong? If you're here to talk to me about finding a new place, honestly, I can't afford well, it. Yeah, that's not why I'm here, okay? See how quick people switch up on you? You're cleared out because I have someone coming over to see this place. He was just calling her Mandy, honey. Yeah. It's this new <laughs> up and coming girl. She's just gone viral. So Has fake. Lots of crazy support. Actually, here she is. Let me find out it's Cassie. It's probably Cassie. She gonna take your apartment? Oh my gosh. You are trying to move into my place? Cassie. Place? You can't afford it as just some waitress. No, she's viral. You're wasting your time. She's, she's a TikToker. Not just some waitress. Cass is the new face of anti-bullying. She took your contract. Hello, she has a ton of big brands behind her. Woo! You do? Yeah, including that 250K deal. Thank Ooh, you. Oh, big flex. <laughs> oh my gosh. She just Funny bumped into her. Good. good luck with everything. Oh, I thought she was like trying to bump into her. To say, oh my gosh, you ruined my sweater. I'm suing you or some stupid ish like that. I did try to tell you that you should be nice to people on your way up. Because you might just pass them again. On Nobody your wants to hear I told you, you really so. think I need a lecture right now, Alicia? Thank you. <sighs> Nobody Come wants to on. hear that. <laughs> Let's go to Forever 21. I need a new outfit. Ah. Uh, Shop up. Never mind. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. Just remember, kids, you're never too famous to fall off or get canceled. Eh, I kind of disagree with that. I kind of disagree with that. I 100% believe Mr. Beast, you know, PewDiePie, people who have like 
those level of subscribers, not even those level. Let me say, if you have over, if you have over 10 million subscribers, I think it's so hard for you to fall off. Like you gotta, you're, you have to, you have to actually try to fall off in the sense of like, you gotta say racist things every day on Twitter. You gotta wake up and just be a menace. That's the only way you can fall off because you just have way too many people who are subscribed to you. And not all of them may watch your videos, but enough will watch them so you can live off of it. So I don't see you falling off if you have over 10 million subscribers. Like, can y'all name one person in the chat who has fallen off? And I mean completely. I don't mean their video views are only a couple hundred thousand per video. No, I mean they have fallen off. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. You can't name one person. Like, your views can go down for sure, but you're never truly going to become irrelevant. You're way too big to become irrelevant. You know? All right, next up, next up, next up. We got bad kids get military babysitter. What happens is shocking. Before we watch that, let me go ahead and read these donations. And we'll get back into it. D Wast, thank you so much for that donation. He said, love your video. Prince has been watching you for five years now. Wow, you're almost an OG. I'm gonna go ahead and consider you an OG because I haven't technically been on YouTube for, no, I have been on YouTube for six years plus. So you're not yet an OG, but, but you're pretty close. VTX Tall, thank you so much for that donation. Watch car get stolen with baby. It has a fight. Oh, really? Oh, now, now I'm gonna have to watch it. The first Darman fight I get to see? Ooh. Kaden John, thank you so much for that donation. Just paying my late fee. Appreciate that. Late fee is $5, though, but you know, I'll let that slide. It's, it's you know, it's the thought that counts. That one random FNF guy, thank you so much for that donation. This is my first donation. I'm a big fan. Can you make a gameplay about Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 4? I'm way too scared to play that game. I'm sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure I played it once. And you can look up the video. Just top like Prince Charming, Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm sure you can find the gameplay video. But I didn't even get past like the second night, bro. I was way too scared. I think I only got past like one night. Or maybe two nights. I don't remember. <laughs> it's, not, it's just not a game for me. And Woody McQueen, thanks so much for that dono. You should play the South Park game on stream. Also, this new Mario movie seems fire. Also, can I have a mod? I have been thinking about uh, playing that new South Park game. I played the first one. I haven't played the second one yet. But yeah, sounds like a great idea. Do not forget to add the Discord. It is pinned to the top of this live chat. It's discord.gg slash Prince Charming. Make sure you join the Discord. Get us to 2,000 members. You know, the Discord is lit. We have fun on there. I'm going to do a video where I react to my Discord. So if you want to be a part of that video, make sure you join now. We're almost to 2,000 members. So let's try and get there. All right. Let's finally get into bad kids. Get military babysitter. What happens is shocking. Let me rewind it because it come is. On, come on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just give me like a controller. No, 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 it's still my turn, you turn. It's my turn, you dweeb. Hey, 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 hey. No back. video games before homework. Andrew and some mom, what is going on in here? Why they stuck at the controller? Toe fungus isn't sharing. No name calling. And you, you know what? She I calls you toe fungus? I'm going to take it and put it into a box and lock it up and throw away the key. No! no. Then quit it. Nora's here, and we don't want her to quit before her first day even starts. I hope she does. Yo, this mom's hair is laid. This mom got this mom got that laid hair. I'm sorry about them, but hopefully you don't quit because you're the fifth babysitter now, and we're only two weeks into. You know, I need to come to play this. Get it? I'm sure it'll be fine. Snapping off the riff. You have a good jet working. The girl say I'm her favorite nigga. Thank you, Nora. Probably don't let your baby mama take a picture. So I'm the type of baby that's gonna babysitter. I just did a show on Portal right, laughing on. Time for homework, right? <laughs> Nora! Easy. It's off. We're playing games. Guys, did you hear me? You Nobody think you run this place? No video games until after. You're not my mom! Keyword mom said. Ooh. We only listen to her. Bax. Yeah. Not you. Bax, who are you? Come on, let's not get started on the wrong foot. Can I please have the controller? No. Nope. Uh, look at her. She's so I mean, polite. That's cute. Done, you guys can play. But you want it. You want it. You want it. Right. Yeah. You. Okay. Okay. Look at her. She's she's so she's so nice. I just, I Ugh, go ahead, Jay. <laughs> go ahead, Jay. Do your thing. I see Darman hired Jay again. I thought he quit. Come on, Andrew. I heard spaghetti was your favorite. Lucky for you, it's also one of my specialties. Our man loves spaghetti. You don't eat spaghetti? Yeah. He loves spaghetti but on this channel. You do eat what? 
They're just gonna lie to you. Ice cream. Yep. <laughs> no, I specifically remember your mom saying no ice cream before dinner. How about you eat all your spaghetti and then you can have ice cream? How's that sound? Not good. Why would you not want to eat actual oh, food hey, first? Hey, hey, hey. Put that back, please. Please don't make me call your mom. Of course, the mom threat. I know following rules are a bummer. This babysitter nice as hell. She's trying to be reasonable and these kids are just being difficult. Like, well, why would you not want to eat actual food first? Why, do you really just I want to eat my spaghetti on the floor. junk food all day? You nasty, Jay. Don't worry about it. That's why you're not going to grow <laughs> up tall. Up. Okay. And here's a little bit more for you. Enjoy. Oh my gosh, just wasting food. Who raised these kids? Nora! They clearly don't I have a father. I my spaghetti on the floor, too. <laughs> okay. Horrible children. Problem child. Well, this is just a Butterfingers kind of day, isn't it? Both of y'all. I made plenty. Where are the meatballs at? So, Where the protein? you finish that, and then we'll have some ice cream. Well, she's not even asking for the most. She's simply asking for them to finish their food, and then they can have ice cream. That sounds like a deal to me. She could have said no ice cream. Oh my gosh. Oops. Butterfingers kind of day. Just like you said, the cleaning supplies are under the sink. <laughs> Ain't no job worth this, Nora. Ain't no job worth this. I am so sorry, and I feel so terrible. Please she ain't coming back. So will I see you tomorrow? No, you won't. No. These two don't need a babysitter. They need a military lieutenant. <laughs> Bastard ass kids, bro. Yep. iPad children. What do you have to say for yourself? They're iPad kids. Better thought none of the people you found can do their jobs. Yeah, maybe next time try finding a better babysitter. So out of five babysitters, they were all bad. Nora was the nicest of them all. You should have really appreciated what you had, because when it's gone, you're gonna miss it. Whatever. I'm going to my room. Same. You let your kids talk to you this way? I'm done talking. Don't you close that door. I'm serious. You are not a real black mother. I'm not believing this. A real black mom? Oh, man. Oh, man. They don't need a babysitter. They need. They need a belt. A, 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 a studded right, belt. Did our parents ever beat I you with a studded belt? For another new babysitter? Is that child abuse? Nice. <laughs> I'll give this person four hours, Max. We'll see about that. Come on in, Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Are these the targets, ma'am? Mm -hmm. I'm Aaron. But you address me as Lieutenant Aaron, understood? Yes. Is that understood? Boy, you look like you finna go buy a shrimp and call it Bubba Shrimp. Who's that guy from Forrest Gump? Bubba, right? <laughs> the one who wanted to buy, buy, buy a shrimping boat and sell shrimp? Like, bro. You don't relax. Yes. It's sir, yes, sir, to you. I don't hear you. Hey, sir, yes, sir. Over here spitting. Well, looks like you're in good hands here. I'll see you after my shift. Even a guest star on Maury and go no. yell at uh, problematic kids. With him? Sure am. Bye. <laughs> at nine hundred dollars, we commence homework. That's four minutes and thirteen seconds. We don't have homework. That's a negative. I contacted the education staff at Wiley Middle School. The indicated targets had homework in the following subjects: history, math, science. Why do you talk like well, that? I'm not doing it. Yeah. Talk like you got a fat ass I'm tongue. I'm playing video games. Look at how he twitching. Oh my gosh. You good, bro? Do you need a fix? He dead bolted the PS5. How the PS5 just change? I don't think it works like that, bro. This is ridiculous. I don't. You can't chain up a PS5. <laughs> How does one chain up a PS5? Perhaps you lose the key for good. Oh! Then let's get a move on it. This your last chance. Five, four, three. Okay, okay. We'll okay. do it. Uh, now it seems like it's working. Yeah. Listen. 
Badass little kids. Some kidney beans. Gross. You want us to eat this? The worst kind of beans. The perfect meal for children who don't follow the rules. No. They pack a lot nope. of protein. Nope, there is no way I'm eating this. I'm getting ice cream. The world. Let's see how long, long this lasts, Jay. It's empty? Huh? He cleared the food out? Ha! <laughs> he just put Where beans in there. Confiscated. Only thing he, you find in this house are beans. He said, y'all eating beans today. That's what you made. Exactly. Nora didn't make us eat beans. Y'all yeah. eating beans you today. Beans? <laughs> you make why'd you throw it on the floor when she made it for you then? And I'll have you know, if you throw them beans on the floor tonight, I ain't making no more food. Because you'll be eating it off the ground. Mm. Is that clear? Mm. I don't hear you. Crystal clear. Right. Yeah. Excuse me? You want to try that again? Okay, sir, sir. Yes, sir. There you go. Salute. Good. Put respect now, on his name. Put respect on if Bubba's I'm name. Trying, I want to see some empty bowls. Ooh, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna eat beans. <laughs> I think it's just all talk. Okay. Like, beans are not a meal. Beans are a side. I'm sure some of y'all are probably watching this live stream eating beans right now. And you're like, hey, get off my beans, man. But like, <laughs> I think eating beans is one of the funniest things you can ever do. Like, bro, you eating beans. <laughs> just the way it sounds, bro. Like, you over here munching on some beans. <laughs> Scarfing down some beans, bro. Like, out of all meals, some beans. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan? British people do love beans. That is true. Throw them in the trash. You'll have no idea. They'd be eating it for breakfast. Voluntarily. Before you do that, are you sure this will work? What other option do we have? Eat them? That seems worse than death. I mean, I like beans, but not those kinds of beans. I'm finna go to bed hungry as hell. He literally said you're not gonna get any more food. You don't want to eat spaghetti and you don't want to eat beans? What do you want to eat? I told you it's for work. What are y'all doing? Uh, oh, I, I, we, just, we just finished our food. Yeah, uh, can we play our video game now? Well, since you completed your homework and ate all your food, I grant you five minutes of video game privileges. Five, five minutes? minutes? We can't even turn it on by then. Yeah, you uh, can. Don't let us play for like an hour. Don't make me change my mind. Uh, then just give us the keys. How the hell do you even chain up a PS5? That is hilarious. <laughs> he is such a boomer. <laughs> you can't chain up no damn PS5, bro. Yup, it's in the trash can. Uh huh. No, I can't do anymore. No, uh uh. You can't do anymore. Oh, you eat beans. Which one is gonna be, boy? Trust me, the beans are worse. Ooh. I <laughs> think Oh, mama! 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 Okay, mama! I'm glad you're home, mama! I missed you! Hey, guys! Oh! No! Oh. Sheesh! Oh. Thank God you're home! Please don't make us spend another day with him! That man made us do push-ups and then and eat beans and... Y'all be calling me a simp for golf for calling a girl attractive. That 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 baffles my mind. Y'all, no, y'all, me not group all y'all in the same category, but some of y'all be calling me a simp whenever I call a girl attractive. Let me not be mean. I just know the people who call me simp are virgins. I just know that. I just know it. Yeah. You can tell when someone's a virgin, bro. Yeah. You can tell. Like the best sitter you've had yet. Lieutenant Aaron, I would love for you to- No, come. no, 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 please, please, please bring it back a little. Yeah, we'll listen to anything she says. We really want her to be a babysitter. I don't know if Nora will come back after everything. What do you think, Lieutenant Aaron? I don't know, I can just ask her. What, what? I knew he was an actor. You know Nora? <laughs> at least you think I got the job. Nora's like my best friend. He's a babysitter, so bro. So you're telling me this was all a setup? Duh. That's right, kids. Nora! <laughs> Oh, what? now you like Nora. You like okay. Different than the last time I saw you. Yeah, we don't ever want to lose you as our babysitter again. Yeah, I guess you were right, Mom. We really should appreciate what we have. Yeah, because mm -hmm. one day we might miss it when it's gone. There you go. You're okay. learning. That makes me very happy. To now hear. you're thinking with portals. Oh, thank you so much for coming back and for giving me the idea to bring in Lieutenant Aaron. 
You're welcome. Or maybe he I is really a lieutenant. Now, kids, I brought beans. <laughs> 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 Bains. <laughs> she brought some bains, kids. She brought some bains. You know, she brought bains. All right. Ooh. Smoke. We're not going to just watch this video just yet. Want to know why? Because I'm going to go downstairs real quick to use the bathroom and to grab a protein shake. It's almost 10 o'clock my time. And uh, I have to have my protein shake before it's too late. So I'm going to be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'm literally going to be back in like one minute. Max, so do not go anywhere. I'm telling you this right now. Don't leave. I will be right back. Do not leave. I'm coming back. The prince has returned. The prince has returned. Did y'all miss the prince? Well, the prince missed you. All right. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and read these donations and then let's get back into the video. Young CC, thank you so much for that donation, bro. That's a weird amount, $1.67. Still appreciate that. Ooh, I'm out of breath, bro. <laughs> I ran back up my stairs. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Your boy kind of chunky. All right, Sal Brew, thank you for that donation. This is my second donation. My first one was on your It's Gotta Be Perfect stream, and your video is the best ever. Oh, thank you, Sal Brew. Void, thank you for that dono. And Compula Games, thank you for that donation. Do you like kids, he says. Do I like kids? In a non-creepy way, yes. <laughs> I don't know what that question was. But if you're asking me, like, do I like kids as in, like, do I want to have kids? Not right now. So, yeah, there are your answers. Teen hides cigarettes from parents. She lives to regret it. That's the video we was watching. Smoke Let's it, get it. Smoke it, smoke it. Look at these badass influences, bro. Telling her to smoke it. All right. Smoke it. Smoke it, smoke it, smoke it, smoke it, smoke it, smoke it. I'm sorry, guys, but I just can't. It's fine, you don't have stop, to. Stop, Ocean. Come on, Shilpa, stop being such a baby. Yeah, Tara's right. We all do it. She looks like she smoked. Really like, the way she's holding that cigarette, that's Come a professional on, way. If you don't like it, you don't have to try it again, okay? That's how you get addicted. One puff is all it takes. One puff is all it takes, kids. Oh, I can't. I'm Good. Sorry. Don't do it. What in the world are you doing? And you're still gonna Just get wait in trouble. Until your mother finds out about this. No! Oh, it's not even your mother? It looks like, I swear! Clearly it's not, Prince. She's Indian. Light us up. You are such a snitch. You're not even my mother. Why are you snitching? Are you calling my mom? Please don't. Luckily for you, it went to voice. Why we can talk it out. You don't got to snitch on me. I wasn't gonna smoke it. You have to believe me. To be honest, the only reason I was even considering it was because they were pressuring me to. If friends are pressuring you to do something you don't want to do, they're not really friends, are they? I 
just started hanging out with them. They're the popular girls at school. All ah, I had to do was fit in. She wants to be popular. Look, Tony, please don't tell my mom. You know how strict she is. She's gonna kill me when she finds out. As she should. Voice. Shit. Your mother trusts me. I have to be honest with her. I have to tell you her. You don't have to tell her me. though. I'm gonna be in huge trouble, but she won't let me hang out with them again. Is that such a bad thing? True. I'm sorry, Shippa. When your mom gets home, I'm telling her. No, I- You is such a snitch. Leave this between me and my mom. Did you convince her not to say anything? No, it looks like we have I'm to kill dead, her. Tara. When my mom finds out, I'm literally dead. You have to kill her now. I mean, it's your word against hers. Maybe your mom won't believe you. No, Tony's been with us for almost a year now. My mom knows she's an honest person. Yep. She know you a liar. <laughs> your mom knows you a liar. Unless you make her not an honest person. Oh, what do you have cooking up there? What do you have cooking in that little brain of yours? Shilpa, Tony, I'm home. All right, Gupta, you looking good? Hey. Yeah. Oh, Pooja, so Pooja. Calls earlier. Why did I think her name was Gupta? Sorry, guys. I... Is everything okay? This isn't easy for me to tell you, but today when I came home, I saw Shilpa with a few of her friends and, uh, okay? Shilpa, she was about- Mom! To... You're home! Yes. And, uh, Tony was just telling me a story about you. Oh, really? Um, maybe she can finish it later, but first, have you seen my phone? I can't seem to- Tony, if you want to keep your job, you keep your yeah, mouth shut. Just walking, so, um... <laughs> Uh, no, actually, no. Are you sure? I'm sure. Well, then Zoroha it for me, please? says, oh, Prince, sure. can you say hi, Jeremy? Hi, Jeremy. Wait. Oh my gosh, is that in your bag, Tony? It's my is that my phone? In your purse? Oh my gosh. What in the world? Were you trying to steal it? No, I wasn't trying to steal anything. Then why was it in there? I, I don't know. I'm sure it was just a misunderstanding. I mean, Tony wouldn't steal anything. Maybe she confused it with her own phone. No way. She, her phone is so old whew. and cracked. She said you have a thought phone. Uh, <laughs> I see. You wanted my phone because you needed a new phone. Should have kept your mouth shut, Tony. I would never do that. Should have kept your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what's going on here. Uh-uh. No. Look, when I came home today, Shilpa was about to smoke a cigarette with her friends. What? She's lying. No, I'm not. Is the mom going to believe it, though? That's why I was calling you, and that's why I was trying to tell you when you walked in. She probably put her phone in my purse, trying to take attention away from Oh, her. no. The, 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 the maid is doing a good she job. do that. She's just trying to cover it up because she got caught red-handed. What? And you know what? I'm sure this isn't the first time she's stolen something. You you just, you have to play it safe. If, if your maid really is stealing from you and you don't get rid of her, you know, she's probably going to keep stealing. So you got to play it safe. You got to fire the maid. Your daughter is telling you that the maid stole her phone or tried to steal her phone. You know, like, I don't know what kind of relationship this mother has with her daughter. I'm sure the daughter lied to the mother many times. I mean, that's what that's what kids do. They lie to their parents. Nothing new, right? So you kind of have to take the kid's side because worst case scenario, you have to find a new uh, maid. But if you, you know, don't take your own kid's side and you go with the maid and the maid really is stealing from you, now you have a kid who thinks you don't trust them and you have a maid that's stealing from you. So you got to play it safe. You got to fire the maid. Tony should have kept your mouth shut. Always trying to be in other people's business. Should have kept your mouth shut. Has anything else gone missing? Mom? Would have had a, would still had a job. Noticed. Well then, let's have a look. What? Wait. Oh no, she really she really set you up. Isn't this your bracelet? Ooh, Tony, you done for. How in the world did that get in there? You done for, Tony. You know, me. you know I wouldn't do anything like that. I can't believe you just made up this whole story about my daughter. Ooh. I really trusted you. Aw, oh, damn. Just, that has to hurt. I like, I don't want to hear it. Just go. Damn. I need this job. Please don't do this. I'm begging you. Go. Damn, Shilpa. Now. Shilpa sounds like an exotic kind of yak. Maybe making the best kind of coats out of Shilpa. 
Shilpa coats. Okay, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Too expensive for my blood. working perfectly, and Shilpa still being able to hang out with us. Shilpa. She did this all so cheers. she can smoke cancer sticks. Oh, sorry. Cheers. So, um, your mom wasn't suspicious of anything? Should have kept quiet, um, quiet Tony. I don't think so. Tony is the maid, I think. Have dropped me off over here. You guys don't understand how strict she is. I'm sure if she caught me smoking, she'd just ship me off to India. Well, now that no one else is around and we don't have to worry about your maid. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, they're not smoking. Smoke. They're doing I'm pills. About cigarettes. <laughs> I'm talking about something else. Ooh, give me they turn one. it up. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Something way more fun. What is it though? I promise though? you're gonna have the best night of your life. Is it ecstasy? You know what? I'm okay. Thank you. Come on, don't be such a party pooper. Is it? What is Come it? On, what is guys. it? It's fine. If she doesn't want to do it, we should. Oh, be quiet, her. Ocean. We're all here to take care of you. You're gonna be fine. Damn, she shut your ass up. Let's try it. You know what? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. There you go. I'll don't let peer back. pressure get to you. I knew she wasn't gonna do it. She would just try it. She'd probably like it. She'll probably oh, overdose. She's so scared of. Maybe if she doesn't know she's trying it. Oh no. <laughs> you can't do that. That is not okay. No, 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 no. come on, don't. Oopsie. Oh, that's not okay. Now it's a party. Yeah. That should not be hanging out with this predator, this Bill Cosby ass woman. <laughs> now you gotta do your own laundry. <laughs> Fire the maid. <laughs> Ooh, Lucy. See, the maid was telling the truth. Your daughter's a damn liar. And you fired Tony. Uh, guys, I don't feel so good. Don't worry about it. You're fine. No. Yeah, I they definitely gave her ecstasy. Wait. Wait. Ecstasy, mom, Molly, please MDMA, please same thing. Stop being such a party pooper. Just have fun. But I have to answer her. her, otherwise she'll- She hit her with the Bill here. Cosby. She Finish slipped- She better. slipped a little- a little thing in her drink. <laughs> I didn't even know women be doing that. Oh yeah, she feeling it. She in another universe right now. I know her head is pounding, man. Yeah, what do they give you? They got the good stuff. I mean, not the good stuff. This isn't good, kids. Don't do it. You don't even know what they did, so I don't have to tell y'all don't do it, because y'all know what they did. I bet you're wondering how I got here, face ass. All right. Ooh, she fell. Oh my gosh, is she okay? How does she get so sick? You gave her half, right? You put a full one in her drink. I didn't know she was gonna drink the whole thing. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Go to jail? <laughs> are you kidding? No way, then we'll all get in trouble. Skip ghost, go to directly to jail? That'd be just the hell? Bad. Well, we need to do something. Look at her, she's completely out of it. Okay, Ocean's right, we can't wait. You guys just get off my back, I'm trying to think, okay? Why don't we drop her off at a hospital? Well, don't you think people would ask a lot of questions? I mean, it's better than nothing. Side dummy, I just, just drop her out out front on the street by herself. Absolutely not. What better choice do we have? She needs medical attention. We don't have time to talk about this. Okay, help me. You're the one who roofied her, so I'm at least glad that you want to take her to the hospital. It's the least you can do. Oh, here's her mom. How are you gonna explain oh this? God. What happened to her? Oh, Pooja. Pooja and Shilpa. Where am I? But Shilpa didn't even want to take it, so you know she's innocent. So worried about you. I don't remember anything. Scary, right? That you have drugs in your system. You want, you want to tell us what kind? I don't know what happened to you. Oh, they're not. You used to be such a good girl. And I... now you are someone completely different. No, mom. I told them no. I swear. You must have put something in my drink. Right. She's, she's not gonna believe you. You already Just lied. Like you weren't smoking cigarettes. Pull out that Lucy. Pull that Lucy out. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> My friends were pressuring me to, but I didn't. You See, this is why you don't lie. Because the, because the moment when you actually start to tell the truth, nobody's gonna believe you, man. 
You're gonna have to prove yourself that you're not lying. And that is a hard task to do. Once you're um, labeled as a liar, somebody that can't be trusted, it is so hard to get out of that, um, to, to, to remove yourself from that kind of uh, labeling, to get out of that category. Because once people think they can't trust you, oh my gosh, they really will not trust you. Me. I don't believe anything you say anymore. You even tricked me and set up Tony to fire her, didn't you? You need help. That's why I'm going to be sending you to India to live with your... This man Renata Pace said, bro, stop talking. Wait, no, am I going to jail? What do you mean stop talking? Stop watching a reaction video. I'll talk when I want to talk. Whatever you have to do. If she you don't want me to talk to and you want to listen to this video, Mom, watch the video. Please, you have to believe me. Let me rewind it because I was talking during this. Oh. Wait, no, am I going to jail? No, you don't go to jail for- Whatever you have to do. She needs to be taught a lesson. You don't go to jail for taking drugs, girl. Mom, please, you have to believe me. You don't I go to- I was taking any drugs. You're an idiot. I don't want to go to jail. You don't go to jail for that. Are you stupid? Actually, <laughs> I know that what you're saying is true. Because she already told us what happened. Hey, finally someone who tells what? the truth. Sopa didn't know that she took anything. Tara put it in her drink when she was in the bathroom. No, you don't go to jail for taking drugs, guys. You, you go to jail for she buying or selling Tony. drugs. And you got Tony fired. Well, actually, she wasn't even smoking either. Tara and Rania were trying to pressure her into it, but she didn't want to. And the whole setup with your maid was all Tara's idea, and Shilpa didn't even want anything to do with it. Mmm. I see. Mmm. Thank you for clearing that up. Mm. All right, come on. Going downtown with the two other girls. We need you to say that again. See, Mom, I told you. I know, but you are still in trouble. You still lied. You should not be hanging out with those girls. You really from shouldn't. From now on, you are not to see those friends. Do you understand? She hits you with that Bill Cosby. Trust me. She you should be in jail. Because as Tony told me, if friends are pressuring you to do something you don't want to, then they're not your friends. Now you gotta rehire Tony. That's gonna be an awkward conversation. Sorry, Mom. Is there her? Thank you for that donation. You said, Prince, if you have kids one day, how much would you want? Three maximum, but I don't want kids. What is that, a new phone? To show you how sorry I am, I'm giving you my phone. I'll take your crack one. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Shilpa. Aww. I'm glad she didn't, like, make a big deal out of it. Because she, she could have. She could have been like... I told you, I told you I didn't lie. I told you your daughter is a lie. Like, she could have done all that, but she decided not to. I respect uh, Tony for that. I respect you, Tony. Okay, Tony. Okay, Tony. All right, somebody told me to watch um, uh, this one Darman video because there's a fight in it. Let me see if I can find that donation. Uh, oh, I got to find it now. I gotta find it, I gotta find it, I gotta find it. Somebody told me to watch a video because there is a fight in it. Oh, where is it, 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 where is it? Oh, now I can't find it. Now I can't find it. What was the video that had the fight in it? Uh. Car gets stolen with baby. All right, car gets stolen with baby. Apparently, there is a fight in it. Where is that video, though? Car gets stolen with baby. Here we go. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. They said there's a fight in this one, guys. This They say there's a fight in this one, guys. Let's, let's watch it. 
Seriously, again? Oh, he's stressed. Mm, she must have dropped her passy. He is stressed. You gotta, you gotta quiet that baby, lady. Poor sweetheart. Domino's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that side eye! <laughs> You're done. You're busted. Oh, did y'all hear that sound? Did my mouth just make that? Y'all probably didn't hear that. I feel like <laughs> my mouth just made a weird sound. Anyways, sweetheart. Domino's Pizza is calling you. You're done. You're done. Why is Domino's Pizza? You're done. <laughs> like a marketing call or. Is she is she not gonna think anything of this? Look, uh, Brenda. Wow, she didn't think anything of it. Wow. There's something I need to tell you. She is stupid. Kevin, slow down! Honey, you okay? Yeah. yeah. Someone wash your car? Hey, buddy. Move. Get out of the way. We don't need our windows clean. Don't get out. You'd be dangerous. Just reverse and drive away. Hey. Ah, oh, you're an idiot, bro. Hey, guy. Did you hear what I just said? We don't need our windows clean. All right? Ooh! All right, look, I, I'm sorry, man. He had that piece on him. I'm sorry. Look. <laughs> on the ground. Okay. Yeah, you should never got out of your car. Hands above your head. All right. We can, we can talk about this, all right? Don't you move a muscle. Okay. Or else. I mean, I would tell the wife to do something, but like, what can she do? It's a gun. She's not bulletproof. Oh, that's scary! Get out of the car. Oh, so Please, out of the car. just leave us alone. Get out of the car. No, I have a baby in the back! Brenda, just do what he says. No, I am not getting out of the car until you promise me I can take the baby. Five. You can take whatever Move. you want. Go, 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 get out. Did she, can she take her baby? Is he gonna let her? Oh! No. Oh! Ooh! He stole a car and got a free baby on the side. That must be uh, Kia's new promotion. Come down and buy a Kia, get a free baby. No down payment required. This is all my fault, Miss Jenkins. You did your best. There's nothing that you could have. <laughs> This husband is is trash. This husband is trash, man. I actually forgot about Domino's calling him. How did the wife not think about it? She said, why is Domino's calling you? She saw the call and she still thought nothing of it. Of it. Bro, you gotta be smarter than this. You can't be naming, naming the girl you, you cheating with Domino's Pizza. That doesn't make sense. You have to name it like one of your guy friends. That way... If you get a call, it's just one of your guy friends. Because why the hell would Domino's be texting you or, or call you? Like, this is rookie. This is very rookie. If you're cheating, don't don't save the contact as, like, Little Caesar's Pizza or Pizza Hut. Save it as one of your guy friends. Or if you're a girl, save it as one of your girlfriend's number or girlfriend's name. You gotta be smarter than that. Or just don't cheat, you know? <laughs> that is the third time. Can't you put that thing on silent? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like he well, doesn't even care about that baby. Well, I assure you this will be one you got of my boy Dak. If you think of anything else, don't hesitate to give us a call. Officer Diaz. Thank you. Special Victims Unit. Or Special Crime Unit, whatever. Thank you guys for everything. I used to watch Law & Order uh, Special Victims Unit. Boom, boom. Dun, 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 dun. What if? Boom, boom. Dun, 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 what if they don't find dun. her? Boo, boo. Ba, na, 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 well, you know, yeah, there's always consequences for your actions. What about your actions, bro? You're texting Domino's. When are you going to get your comeuppance? <laughs> hey, you can't be in here. I know he's uh, in there. Ma'am, 
Ma'am. So you're just not gonna answer any of my calls? Oh, sorry. that's his sorry, that's sorry. his cocky bind. First in. Do you want me to call security? That's his no, side piece. Okay. Thank you, Megan. I appreciate it. Oh no. Here's the home wrecker. She said, you may leave. You know, she, I'm dealing with a crisis right she now. She bold for, co for right coming to his place of work. You don't think I'm going through a crisis? The guy I'm in love with has been ghosting me. I'm sorry, but my daughter being kidnapped is just a little bit worse, Angela. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Angela, what is wrong with you? His daughter's been kidnapped. <laughs> there's something I can do. Woo! I can't have you around here right now. There's something you, you can do. You can't come into my work or show up at my house. This is too dangerous. You were supposed to tell your wife about us. Why do the Why side pieces you always you want to be told? I think that this is a good idea with everything right? that's going on right now. He just lost his baby. Look, Give him some time. No, Kevin, I'm not leaving. Kevin, you yeah. need to stop. Uh, the cops are here. They want to speak to you? Well, tell them I'm not here. Uh, it's a little too late for that. Oh, they're going to catch him. Now. They're going to catch him with his concubine. Where? Under the table. Yeah. This is gonna be so. This is gonna be so awkward if morning. like. Good morning. So they walk behind that desk and updates? see her. We're investigating. Right, what was she doing and, uh, there? Actually, we've got some documents here we wanted to ask you about. Sure. You don't mind if we sit? Yeah, of course, please. What kind of documents y'all got? So, we took a look at your phone records. Why? You receive a lot of. Calls from that number. Why are you going through my phone records? To look at my phone records. Right? Hey, do you think that I'm a suspect? No. But we noticed your phone wouldn't stop ringing, so we took a look into it. Are they allowed to do <laughs> that? We really can't rule anything out. We've got to investigate everything. Of course. Man. So, why don't you tell us who this person is? None of your business. That's who it is. Uh, it's just my sister. Oh, come on. That's a terrible lie. We didn't realize you had a sister. Yeah, it's, uh, same dad. Honestly, isn't he allowed to? No, I don't think, <laughs> no, 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 no. There is no privilege with cops, man. I'm thinking about a lawyer, like attorney, pro uh, attorney client privilege. There is no such thing with cops. If he were to tell these cops right now that the person he's been calling this whole time is the woman he's been cheating on, they have no obligation to not tell his wife. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not like they have to tell her, but they're they under no obligation to not tell her. You know how women be? They love, they love having each other's backs. Officer Diaz would have snitched ASAP no Rocky. You know, um, I'm really swamped with a lot of stuff right now. So if you didn't mind. Of course. Our apologies. We're sure you have more important things to attend to than your missing daughter. Woo! No, it's not like that at all. Look, if you just, just made yourself me posted if way more suspicious. But at least they didn't catch your concubine. Come out now. <laughs> he said you can come out. You think we fooled them? Great. <laughs> That's great. Now the cops think I'm a suspect because uh, of you. Well. If you would have answered my calls, I wouldn't have come. Look, you need to go. And please stop calling me so much. I can't deal with any more of this stress. Like, he needs to find his daughter first. Not like that. I'm sorry, okay? Priorities. Just do this for me, okay? The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Okay. My man Kevin, no. So, this is your sister. Hell yeah. You know, she's one, just she's just a little light skin. <laughs> or a little darker than me. Her for one month. You are complete. Did the police snitch? Oh, Officer Diaz. One Officer Diaz is a snitch, bro. You have been talking to her for one They didn't month. have to tell the wife. You are complete scum. Please let me explain. Okay? Like you're not a marriage counselor, going Officer Diaz. I'm going to tell you going to tell me wow that makes me feel so much better thanks for letting me know why am i defending the cheater <laughs> sorry you have no idea how sorry i am don't touch me i don't want to hear anything you have to say yeah she lost her baby yeah 
And now, yes, that's awful. That's awful. That's awful. You gotta feel. You gotta feel terrible, man. Please, like I, I love you. That's not the time to say I love you. You are disgusting. Just grab your bag and get out of here. I bet you he's paying for that house. And he has to leave. I'm gonna tell you this much, bro. Never in a million years will I get kicked out of my own house. Let me say that again for y'all. Never in a million years will I ever get kicked out of my own house. Y'all heard me right, correct? <laughs> I don't care what I did. Well, let me not say it. I don't care what I did. But there, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Anything that I could possibly do would not warrant me being kicked out. All in this past week. You know, I don't put my hands on women. Oh. I don't cheat. And even if I did, you're That's not kicking not me out of my house. You can leave, awful. but I'm not leaving. Come on. At least we get to be together, right? Look at her. She is so horny. Can I get you something? He you lost his daughter. Right now. I mean, I don't even think he cares. I don't even think he cares do. about his daughter. Management's supposed to fix it. She just wants some, some D. I'll get you some hot cocoa. That'll I mean, I already, up. already got hot cocoa in my bed right now, baby. <laughs> hey, my clothes are still in your closet, right? Oh, you're you're so shameless. You got clothes in her closet. You're shameless. You are absolutely shameless. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has spare clothes in her closet. Angela, why is there another man's jacket in here? Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's yours. The girl you're cheating on with is cheating on you? No, this is definitely not mine. The irony. He said, I don't wear leather. What? He said, I don't like looking like I, I was in the movie Grease. Come on, Kev. You know you're the only person in my life. Oh, yeah? He, look, he, he said, I, I don't say forget about it. <laughs> Which one is this? Woo! Oh Wait, man! I'm <laughs> I'll find out for myself. Yo, can you even really be mad though? Kevin, can you even really be mad? Like you were cheating with her. You know what that what's that what's that rule? If you if she'll cheat with you, she'll cheat on you. It will never not be true. If she'll cheat with you, she will cheat on you. How are you really going to be that mad? You had a whole ass wife and you found a girl you could cheat with. You know, let her do her. She may cheat on you. You know, at least you're not married to her. At least you're not dating her. So why are you mad? If you're cheating with her, she'll cheat on you. Facts. No printer. And you're actually mad about it. I bet you if your wife cheated on you, you would not Who be this you? mad. I know you've been seeing Angela. Excuse me. Angela oh, this is the Johnson, fight? My girlfriend, I know you've been seeing her. Oh, this is the Look, fight? Man, I think you got me confused with someone else. Oh, do I? Oh. You say I don't got you confused? Wait for the throw hands? I don't want any issues, okay? Ooh. That's his baby! Hold on! That was you. Well, you, you are going to jail, pal. You are going to jail. Sky, I'm coming. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you, uh, so was he in on it uh, with the black lady? Uh, uh, woo! Woo! Let's get it! Let's get it! Bro, don't go down like that! Fight for your family! Grab his eyes! Twist his nuts! Do something! Crack him! Uh. Is he a let? Is he a mythical oceanic creature? Cause he got cracking. Okay, that was that was awful. That was awful. I delivered that so horribly. <laughs> that was garbage. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for that. Is that a Mexican baby? Daddy's here. I got you. That baby look a little Mexican. A little Hispanic, I should say. Let me not say Mexican, cause there's a lot of. Oh! I. I said put can't the baby. Believe it. This crazy ass woman. Wow. 
Finally a fight! Darman, thank you! We need more of this! This is what I this is what I needed! You, you stole my baby. Yes. For, why? I why? Did. But not for me. For us. Oh my I gosh! Did it for us, Kevin. Because now our life's complete. So she wasn't even cheating with that guy. She just hired him. Picture, the oh my gosh. Us. We can go somewhere far away where no one will ever find us. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Look what you got yourself into. Look what you got yourself in, into, man. Crazy. What do you hear yourself? I don't think you tell a person with a gun <laughs> that they're crazy. What is up with people with with <laughs> with increasing the likelihood that they get their head blown off? Look, if somebody was batshit crazy and they're just talking to me, I'm, I'm gonna try my best to agree with them, you know, talk them down, calm them down. Yeah, that's a great idea. You know, screw my wife. Who needs her? In fact, give me the gun. I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna go over there right now and shoot her myself. Hopefully that would work. What I won't do is call her crazy. <laughs> you think I'm crazy? I'll show you crazy, because that's what she's gonna do. <laughs> Look. <laughs> no, I'm going in there and I'm taking Scott. I like and it, I'm I like that. You. He's very brave. And I never want to see you again. Very brave, but very stupid. Okay. Don't even call me. Ooh. Don't do anything. Ooh. I'm going back to Brenda and I'm gonna beg for forgiveness. She has a gun, my dude. Oh, 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 you gonna so many huge is she gonna shoot him in like the kneecap? Oh If I can't be with you, Kevin, then you're not gonna be with anyone. Kevin, else. no wonder you're not a negotiator. Just put the gun down. Just okay, at least eight. Look where you're okay. shooting. Put the gun down now. On the floor. On the floor. Hey, if you're no, about to I, shoot me, do not close your eyes. Back. No. Or either you get no. me with that Kevin, headshot. Don't on. let them take me away, Kevin. Please don't let them take me away. Please, Kevin. Man. All right. You put your Johnson into something crazy, man. How did you know where to find me? That chick was wacko. Put our tracker on your car. We've been following you. But it's safe to say you're not a suspect anymore. Now, will your wife forgive you? Brenda. I don't think so. Oh, you won't believe what happened. She ain't. <laughs> She's not gonna forgive you. Sweetheart. No, that baby's white. That's a, that's a white baby. Angela stole our baby. Our baby. It's over, bro. I'm sorry. My baby. You know, slow your roll now. I'm hearing from my lawyer. You know, slow your roll. And when the judge finds out what you've done. You will not be getting custody. That's true. That's true. It's like you say. Ooh. There's always consequences for your actions. You lost your wife and your baby. Oh, baby girl. Eh. Go home. It's not the worst trade-off. <laughs> oh, they finally put a fight in Darman! I love it, bro! We need more of that, Darman! Because a lot of these situations that you be showing us will end in a fight if they're actually realistic. That's what I'm talking about. Even though that fight was short and he could have made it longer, that's what I needed. A, 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 a sense of realism. Cause that would have, that is exactly what would have happened. He, they would have got to throw in hands, honestly, bro. In fact, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even call the police. I would have beat his ass first and then called the police. And that's maybe kind of stupid. Cause what if like he stabs me and I like in my head, I'm like, damn, I probably should have called the police before I started whipping his ass. Eh. Either or, either or, that's what I needed, Darman. This is probably my favorite video of this live stream. Other than, um, no, I'll say this is my favorite one. This has been my favorite one, bro. This takes the live stream uh, championship, the gold. The silver, bronze, no, the gold. I'll give it first place. All right, Zerhark, thank you so much for that donation. Honestly, if a random dude came up to my car, I'm running him over, no shame. That's what I was thinking, but then again, bro, I know I, myself, and this is just me, I know I couldn't just run somebody over. I'll feel too bad. Like, I'll think I killed them. I think I paralyzed them. I would just feel way too bad. It's just not in me. It's just not in me. Can I sideswipe somebody? Oh, hell yeah. Can I run them over though? Nah, that's too dangerous because I don't want to accidentally like, you know, do some serious damage. And then it's like on my conscience for the rest of my life. 
But I'll, I will I will sideswipe you. X E G Gamer or X X E J Gamer. Thank you so much for that donation. Prince, can you watch old SMG4 videos, 2011 through 2016? Golly, that's that's gonna be a lot of videos to react to, but. You know, I'm sure I can get it done. <laughs> GD Wack, thank you for that donation. What's up, Daddy Prince? What's up, GD Wack? Not Hamter, thank you so much for that big donation, bro. Appreciate you so much. Sorry, Prince, here's my late fee and a little extra. Thank you so much for paying that late fee and that little extra. Appreciate you. Black Neon, thank you so much for being a member for five months. You said you would talk in the Discord chat. I did, I did make that promise. And as you know, Prince keeps his promises. So make sure you are following the Discord. And guys, you want to be a member of the Discord. I'm telling you this right now. It's very exciting. It's very nice. Very dope. Very fun. The Discord is pinned to the top of this live chat. Or you can just type discord.gg slash, slash Prince Charming. So without further ado, like I promised you, here is the Discord. What's up? Live from YouTube. Can I get a hoya? Can I get a y'all know what a hoya is? Can I get a hoya? Let me get a hoya. But yeah, go join the Discord. Where am I? Wait, this general chat. Oh, this is not even general chat. <laughs> I'm not even in general chat. My bad, my bad. There we go. Now I'm in general chat. Now I'm in general chat. <laughs> Can I get a hoya? Uh, hoya? Can I get a hoya? Hell yeah, bro. Make sure you follow the Discord pinned to the top of this live chat. Discord.gg slash Prince Charming, bro. We get lit on this Discord. Send me some funny memes because that's what I'm going to be doing. Um on the next stream. Let me not say the next stream, an upcoming stream. I'm gonna be doing a live stream of me reacting to the Discord. I'm gonna be, it's gonna be like a reacting to Reddit page of me, but it says it's gonna be Discord. And I am thinking of creating a Reddit page of me. That can be funny, me reacting to Reddit pages of me, you know, videos that y'all think I would, I would find funny, or I can just do Discord. So whatever y'all think would be better, I can definitely do. But yeah. Can I get a hoo yeah? Go over to Discord right now. Go to my general chat and give me the biggest hoo yeah you have ever gave anybody before. Pause. The Discord is pinned to the top of the live chat. Let's get to 2,000 members. We are currently at, uh, how much people are we at? I don't know how much people are at. I'm pretty sure we're probably at like around 1,800. Probably 1800, probably around there. But make sure, please, 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 make sure that you go to the Discord. It's still pinned to the top of this live chat. It's easy to remember. Discord.gg slash Prince Charming. It's in the description of many, many, many of my recent videos, so it's not gonna be hard to find at all. Uh, Trenzy, make sure you go over to my Discord, man. Make sure you go over to that Discord, bro. Uh, but until next time, I think this has been a very dope live stream. We have watched a good amount of Darman videos. We have laughed. We have cried. We have, what is that? <laughs> oh, it's a sticker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, send me some memes on here. Should be funny. Got a meme right here. Uh, this is, it's kind of scary to just click on. Discord videos. I'm gonna save this for next time. Hey, Germ, make sure you send this to me next time, bro. Cause I'm kind of scared to click on one right now. Look at these faces, bro. I have some of the best faces, some of the best reaction uh, thumbnails. I'll be going all out on mine. <laughs> oh, these stickers are funny, bro. <laughs> See, I told y'all, man, we began lit on Discord. See how much members are on Discord. You have plenty of people to talk to, plenty of people to joke with, you know, talk about your day with. If you're at school, I bet you people are still gonna reply because that's how my Discord be. Oh my gosh, what the hell? Oh, I wish I could make this bigger so y'all can see it. <laughs> that's so weird. Go over to the Discord if you wanna see it. Can I, can I make it bigger? 
Oh, well, doesn't matter. Caden John, thank you so much for that big donation, bro. Ooh, big donation, bro. Appreciate that so much. And Live Band 24 Official, thank you so much for that donation as well. All right. But yeah, that was it for this live stream. Thank you so much to everybody who came out to support your boy. Please hit a subscribe on my YouTube channel. You know, follow, turn notifications on, add the Discord. Link is pinned to the top of the live chat, also in the description of the video. Also, it's simply discord.gg slash Prince Charming. So until next time, you know, it's been your boy Prince of Hawkum. Stay safe out here on these streets. And as always, stay charming, my friends. Peace!